You see, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, let your sword, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I deploy, I deploy, I deploy the sword of vengeance, the sword of judgment, the sword of vengeance, the sword of judgment against my enemies, against my enemies, those in my mother's house, those in my mother's house, those in my father's house, those in my father's house, I deploy your sword of vengeance, your sword of judgment against any witch, any wizard, any enemy that is after my life. I deploy your sword. I deploy your judgment sword, your vengeance sword against them. Let them perish in the name of Jesus. 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 Let them perish in the name of Jesus by the sword of judgment, by the sword of vengeance, by the sword of judgment, by the sword of vengeance, by the sword of judgment, by the sword of vengeance. Any witch, any non human personalities, any demonic incarnated personalities, any demonic witchcraft personalities who is attacking my marriage attacking my son attacking my daughter attacking my health attacking my finances attacking my destiny i deploy the sword i deploy the sword i deploy the sword i release the sword to massacre you to slay you to cut you down in the name of jesus that evening the lord made sure their enemies firstborn perish today your enemies will perish Today, your enemies will perish. Today, your enemies will perish. If you believe it, it's happening. If you believe it, it's happening. If you believe it, it will happen. If you believe it, it will happen. Whoever is practicing witchcraft, whoever is using your picture, whoever is using your name, whoever is using your cloth, whoever is using your money, whoever is using your garment, whoever is using anything that belongs to you as a point of contact to practice witchcraft, to practice black magic, to do voodoo, to do juju, to do obia, to do santaria, to cast spells, to cast... To, to cast hexes on you. May they perish. May they perish. May they perish. May they perish. Whoever want to sacrifice you in their court. Who is ever is after your ha husband. Whoever is after your son. Whoever is after your wife. Whoever is after your soul. Whoever is after your destiny. May they perish in the name of Jesus. 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 May they perish by the sword of vengeance, by the sword of judgment, by the sword of vengeance, by the sword of judgment, by the sword of vengeance, by the sword of judgment. May the evil witches, wizards, monitoring spirits, familiar spirits, monitoring birds, Satanic cats, satanic dogs, satanic lions, satanic highness, any witch, any wizard, non-human personalities that are sabotaging your destiny. May they perish by this word of the Lord in the name of Jesus. For the Lord will pass through and strike the Egyptians. I see God striking your enemies. I see God striking your enemies. I see God striking your enemies. I see God striking every spirit of death. I see God striking every spirit of cancer. I see God striking every spirit of COVID. I see God striking every spirit that has been sent to come and take your life out of the land of the living. I see God striking every demon from your mother's house, every demon from your father's house, any altar spirit that has been sent to monitor you and to frustrate and sabotage God's purpose for your life. Let the angel of the Lord strike them. Let the angel of the Lord strike them. Let the angel of the Lord strike them. Let the sword of judgment, let the sword of vengeance, let the sword of judgment, let the sword of vengeance strike that demon, strike that witch, strike that monetary spirit, strike down the familiar spirit, strike down that evil watcher, strike down any spirit husband, any spirit husband, any spirit that comes to sleep with you at night, causing you to have bad dreams, causing you to have wet dreams, causing, causing sleep paralysis, any demonic entity, any witch that comes to suffer Forgets you any demon that has been tormenting your body, frustrating your life. May the angel of the Lord, may the sword of vengeance, may the angel of the Lord draw their sword of vengeance and judgment and strike that demon, strike that witch, strike that demon, strike that witch, strike that unclean spirit out of your life. May the angel of the Lord strike them 
Let them perish. Let them perish. Let your enemies perish today and release you in the name of Jesus. For I'll pass through and strike the Egyptians. And when I see the blood on your lentil and your doorpost, the Lord will pass over you, over the door, and not allow the destroyer to come into your house to destroy you. No destroyer can touch you anymore. No destroyer can touch you anymore. No destroyer, no spirit husband can touch you anymore. No destroyer, no witch can touch you anymore. No destroyer can touch your son. No destroyer can touch your daughter. No destroyer can touch your marriage. No destroyer can touch your finances. No destroyer can touch your business. No destroyer can touch your education. No destroyer can touch your health. No destroyer can touch your husband, your wife, your family members. No destroyer can touch your mom, your dad. No destroyer can destroy anything that the Lord has blessed you with. The destroyer cannot touch your properties. The destroyer cannot touch your car. No destroyer can touch your business, your job. In the name of Jesus, the destroyer will not be able to touch you. The destroyer will not be able to touch you because you are preserved, you are protected, you are defended by the blood of Jesus. The precious blood, the precious blood, the precious blood keeps you from death, keeps you from accident, keeps you from evil report, keeps you from devastating news, keeps you from the expectations of your enemies, keeps you from any bad news. I sense deliverance taking place. Wherever they tied you, wherever they captured you, whatever evil they were planning to do, it has been nullified. It has been nullified. Witchcraft attacks be, have been nullified. Witchcraft curses has been nullified. Somebody, as I speak now, the Lord is delivering you from demonic torment, from demonic attacks. You are feeling attacks in your body. The Lord is delivering you now. The Lord is delivering you now. I command those demons to leave your body now. I command that, those oppression to leave your body now. I command those suppression to leave your body now. I command those pain to leave your body now. I command those spells to break off your body now. I sense deliverance taking place now. I sense deliverance taking place now. I cast out unclean spirits out of your body. Yes, they are coming out. Yes, they are coming out. They are breaking off your life. The spirit of death is losing you now. The spirit of distress is leaving you now. The spirit of infirmity is leaving you now. The spirit of oppression is leaving you now. The spirit of torment is leaving you now. Break and go. Somebody, if you feel like coughing, you feel like vomiting, you feel like burping, you feel like sneezing, let it go. Let it go. Just begin to breathe out. Just begin to breathe out. The power of Jesus, the power in the blood is setting you free from demonic harassment, from demonic harassment. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Just keep on breathing out somebody you are under the anointing a demonic entity was sent to come and destroy you but i sense the spirit of god delivering you right now yes begin to breathe out if you as you are breathing you feel like coughing you will start vomiting some of you start sneezing some of you will start burping some of you will start feeling like using the rest too, but something is breaking. Something is leaving you now. Something is leaving you now. Some of you will start yawning. I sense the power of God, the anointing of God to break yokes. It is breaking the yoke. It is breaking the yoke. It is breaking demonic attacks. It is breaking witchcraft attacks off your life now. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the destroyer, the destroyer will not be able to touch you. The destroyer will not be able to touch you. So whatever demon who is a destroyer, whatever witch who is a destroyer, today I declare the word of the Lord. They will never be able to harm you anymore. I command them to lose you now and let you go. Lose you now and let you go. Lose you now. Come out of her. Come out of him. Break and go. Break and go. Break and go. I bind every demon tormenting you. I bind every witchcraft tormenting you. I bind every spell tormenting you. I bind every hexes tormenting you. I bind every black magic tormenting you. I blind every juju voodoo operating against you. I bind every curse operating against you. I command it to break off you now. Break off you now by the raising of the anointing in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Break and receive your deliverance now in the name of Jesus somebody you are coughing you are coughing you are coughing somebody is even coughing blood the spirit of death is leaving you somebody you are spitting out take flame take flame Take mucus. It's coming out of you. Yes, God is setting you free. God is setting you free. That attack that came upon you like 
like like flu-like symptoms it is an attack from the pit of hell it is leaving you right now that chest pain is leaving you now that's heart attack is leaving you now that attack on your liver is leaving you now in the name of jesus that abdominal pain is leaving you now that shoulder pain that neck pain that joint pain that muscle pain is leaving you now in the name of just that that Sore throat is leaving you now in the name of Jesus. Vasatarata. In the name of Jesus, I curse every cancerous cells deposited in your body. I curse it out in Jesus' name. That migraine is leaving you now. Whatever is wrong in your body, receive your deliverance. I break the power of the devil of your life. I break the power of the destroyer of your life. I release you now. Yes, cough it, cough it. Cough it out, cough it out, cough it out, cough it out. Let it go, let it go. Some of you like, feel like vomiting. Some The power of God is all over you. The power of God is all over you. Today, the blood is speaking. The blood speaks better than the, the blood of Abel. The blood of Jesus is delivering you from every destroyer. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, I see the blood. I will not allow the destroyer to come into your house. Any destroyer in your house, which represents your body, let that destroyer come out. Let that witchcraft spells come out. Let that witchcraft hexes come out. Let that sickness come out. Let that demonic attacks come out. Let that spirit husband, I command every spirit husband, I command every spirit wife that is married to you spiritually. In the name of Jesus, I break your covenant with that spiritual spouse and I command them to come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. You foul unclean spirit. I bind you. Come out in the name of Jesus. You foul unclean spirit. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. You foul unclean spirit. I command you. I bind you. And cast you out of the children of God. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Receive restoration in your marriage. Receive restoration in your finances. Receive restoration at your white place. Receive restoration in your body. Receive restoration in your soul. Receive restoration in your spirit. Receive sound mind. I rebuke every spirit of confusion. I rebuke every spirit of double-mindedness. I rebuke every spirit of chaos in your life. I bind and banish every demon that is oppressing you out of your life right now. In the name of Jesus, I sprinkle the blood. 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 I sprinkle the blood over your body, over your soul, over your spirit, over your son, over your daughter, over your husband. I sprinkle the blood over your house, over your apartment, over your car, over your going out and coming in. I soak you and your entire family in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Let the blood, let the precious blood, let the precious blood of Jesus preserve, protect, defend, deliver you from all evil in the name of jesus you're untouchable by the blood thank you lord jesus thank you holy spirit thank you heavenly father for deliverance thank you thank you thank you somebody you just got your immediate deliverance your immediate liberty your immediate freedom it is done the power of god has healed you and made you whole the power of god has broken the yoke of affliction the yoke of agony the yoke of oppression on your life is broken in the name of Jesus, today, when you sleep, you will sleep like a baby. You will find out that you are being revived, rejuvenated, reignited. You will feel so fresh. Somebody, you are feeling so relief. It was, you were overwhelmed by too many things. But right now, you felt like something, a heavy burden has been lifted off your shoulder. That's the deliverance power of, of, God, of Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus just delivered you from that demonic weight. You are free from all your afflictions. Somebody, you are feeling sick, but you are being healed right now. In the next 24 hours, you come back to total recovery. Somebody, you are standing the guard for your son, standing the guard for your brother or sister who is sick in the hospital. I release healing to them right now. Let the angel of the Lord touch them and make them whole. I release the blood. I release the blood. I lose the blood to touch them and heal them. And I rebuke the destroyer of their lives. I command life back into their body. I command health back into their body. In the name of Jesus, I command restoration in marriages, restoration in your family, restoration, peace, and the glory of God to tabernacle in you and your family. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We bless and exalt your holy name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, 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 amen. Join us tomorrow. Our scripture reading is Psalms 12. Psalms 12. Psalms 12. 
Join us tomorrow at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. 11 p.m. Eastern Time for prayers. 12, uh, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. 4 a.m. London, 5 a.m. Europe. 4 a.m. 5 a.m. Europe. Those of you who have communion, make sure today you take the communion. I encourage everybody after this, go and take the communion. As you take the communion, I want you to mark your forehead. That let there be a Passover. I mark my forehead with the blood of Jesus. Mark the, your forehead with the blood. If your children are sleeping, dip your finger in the blood, the communion, and go and make the sign of the cross on their forehead. Dip your finger in the blood and make the sign. If you don't have the communion with you right now, just take a cup of water and say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I turn this glass or turn this cup into the blood of Jesus Christ and, and make the sign of the cross on your forehead and drink some. As you take the communion, may the Lord deliver you from every attack and protect you and your family in Jesus' name. Also, if you have a house, if you have a house, take some of the communion, take it in front of your house and sprinkle it in front of your house. I sprinkle the blood. I sprinkle the blood. Let there be a Passover. Let no evil come around me and my family. Go and stand in front of your house. Take the communion. And you, you are going to stand on the Exodus chapter 12 verse 13. And sprinkle the blood. You just sprinkle. Just take the blood and just sprinkle some. And say, I sprinkle the blood. Let there be a Passover for me and my entire family members. And as you do that, anybody you are connected to, dear to you, the blood will remember them and protect them as the year comes to an end, as we come to the end of the month, the protection of the Lord shall be upon you. So if you have your communion, take your communion today, but follow today. It's not about the taking of the communion. It is the specific direction. Dipping your finger in the communion, making the sign of the cross and asking the Lord that let there be a Passover and also doing it for your children and also stand in front of your house. If it's your small apartment, you just go and stand in front of your your door and just, when I say spray, sprinkle, just dip your finger in and just make sure it sprinkles. You dip it in and you, you, you just let your finger sprinkle it and say, as I sprinkle this, Lord, preserve me, preserve me, preserve me by the sprinkle of the blood, by the sprinkle of the blood, Lord, preserve me from every danger in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. If you have a car, you can just sprinkle some on it. I sprinkle the blood on my car. Let there be a Passover. Let there be a Passover. No accident. No misfortune. No tragedy. No devastating news coming around me and my family. Just sprinkle. Just sprinkle. In front of your house, on your car, as the Lord leads you, just sprinkle. Juice this blood in this direction. And may the Lord save you from every demon on evil errand against you and your family. In Jesus' name. May God bless you. May the Lord protect you. For the book we are using is um, Touch Not My Anointed. Today we are talking about the blood making us untouchable, unstoppable, unbreakable, unconquerable, indestructible by the force of darkness. You need to walk in the power of God, in the power of God for you to be bold like a lion. Get your copy on our website, www freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com touch not my anointed it is not everybody you can touch there are those who know who they are and they are hidden in Christ and they walk in the power you can't touch them that is first chronicles 16 verse 22 touch not my anointed everything i've been teaching you today is all about touch not my children my anointed ones and do them no harm get your copy on our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com for any sacrifice, for any giving, for every offering, for any tithing, you can do so on our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. Any giving, you can do your giving, sowing your seeds through the website, www.freshfireprayer.com. If it's cash up, it's Fresh Fire Prayer. Fresh Fire Prayer. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord protect you. I believe it is well with each and every one of us. As long as we stay committed, connected, consistent with Jesus Christ, he will never put us to shame. And anyone connected to this ministry, you are covered. You are covered. It is well with you. Just be faithful to Jesus Christ and he will make sure. Once people were in the ark of Noah, it was well with them. God has brought you into this ark for a purpose. Stay in the ark. 
stay in the ark. Don't be like this person who is in the ark and still outside and connecting to other ungodly things and now bringing unnecessary problems to themselves. Stay in the ark that God has, has brought you and your life will be preserved. You will not be wasted. The God of Fresh Fire Ministry is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He sent his son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for us. He will defend us from all evil. In Jesus' name, God bless you and may the Spirit of God preserve and protect you. I cover you and your entire family in the blood. May the Lord bring healing and restoration and deliverance to you. In Jesus' name, amen. He's trying to steal your health, steal your strength, steal life from you. But you got to know who you are. That I am not permitted to be sick. Sickness is not of God. Jesus was pl they placed all the sickness on him. So that I can be free from all sicknesses. So I am not permitted to be sick. I refuse to be sick. So you can either reject it. Or you can agree with the devil to steal your health. By this revelation, you are not sick trying to be well you are well attempting to be sick because jesus has already he has already on the cross of calvary then he, he bled and he was beaten and he was shamed for nothing because he did all these things on the cross of calvary just so you will experience divine health divine life in fact he died very young he died very young at the age of 33, they killed him. They murdered him. So you can live long. So I can live long. So I cannot accept to die prematurely. I cannot, you cannot accept to die by any sickness, any disease or witchcraft or any premature. No, 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 no. Jesus died young that you may have long life. Jesus bore your sicknesses. In Isaiah 53 verse 5. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was laid upon him by his stripes. You were made whole. You were free from diabetes. You were free from lupus. You were free from every autoimmune disease you were free from every cancer uh, what do you call it skin cancer um, breast cancer throat cancer brain cancer name whatever cancer he had already taken it out you are not attempting to be sick in fact you are trying to be sick <laughs> because you have been redeemed by the blood of christ the devil is trying to give you what is not yours the devil is trying to cheat you of your birthright. This is your birthright. To be free by the blood, by the stripes, and walk in health. How can Jesus die young so you can also die prematurely? How can Jesus be placed, they place all sicknesses on him for you also to come and claim the sickness again? It means we don't know who we are and who you are in Christ makes you free at last free at last from every satanic diagnosis you can boldly say that by the stripes of jesus christ i reject this cancer by the stripes of jesus christ i reject this arthritis this um uh, how do you call it covid i reject every osteoporosis i reject every kidney failure i reject every kidney problem i reject every heart related issues i reject every lung related issues i reject every problem with my kidney lungs colon spleen my back pain everything i cast you out of my body i am not permitted to be sick satan you are a liar you can't steal my health. You can't steal my energy. You can't steal long life out of me. For I am not permitted to be sick. I have been redeemed by the blood. The stripes of Jesus Christ heals me, makes me whole. COVID, you came too late. You came too late. I have this revelation. I have the antiviral blood of Jesus Christ in me. I have the potent 
powerful, efficacious, antiviral blood of Jesus flowing inside of me. Anti-cancer blood of Jesus flows in me. Anti-diabetes, high blood pressure, whatever sickness, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus makes you whole. And I pray for somebody that Jesus died young, that you may live long. Jesus died young. He died 33. It is an error to die prematurely. It is an error for you to make a witch kill you. It is an error to make a wizard kill you. It is an error to make a demon kill you. It is an error to make a sickness kill you prematurely. You cannot die. You shall live. I cannot die. I shall live. Jesus died very young. Jesus died very young. Jesus died very young. So I can live long and fulfill my destiny. They cut short his destiny so I can live long to fulfill my destiny. They place sickness upon him so that I can express divine health. They place the curse of this world upon him so I can enjoy the blessing of God. They place poverty on him that I can enjoy the riches and the blessings and prosperity of Christ. They place sin upon him so I can walk in the righteousness and holiness of God. They place limitations on him that I can so up on eagles' wings and do the impossible with Jesus Christ's blood. The blood, the blood, the blood. Whoever that sickness came, it is leaving you right now. It came too late. You have gotten revelation. It came too late. You've gotten illumination. It came too late. Light has finally come. Darkness cannot comprehend. Jesus died young that you can live long. Don't sit down to allow the devil to use some witchcraft related sickness, to use some witchcraft related attacks to kill your life. Ay, 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 ay. You are born to fulfill destiny. And destiny you shall perform and fulfill in the name of Jesus. I pray for those of you. No, no, there's somebody you got to connect to this right now. Take your anointing. Take, take the blood. Take the blood. Take the blood right now. Take the blood and begin to receive your healing right now. 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 Let's chase that devil sickness out of your body right now. Let's chase that devilish sickness and send it back to the pit of hell. Let us send it back to the covens of your enemies. Let us send it back to the camp of the enemy. Wherever that sickness is, we eject it, we evacuate it, we expel it in the name of Jesus. We evict it. We are serving every sickness and eviction notice. I am serving by divine decree, by divine decree, an eviction notice, an eviction notice. I expel, I exile, I ban, I banish, I cast out every demonic related sickness and disease that has been downloaded, that has been injected, that has been projected, that has been infused into your body. Wherever that sickness came from, in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, he who died and rose again, he who bore our sickness and our infirmities and our disease on the cross of Calvary and said it is finished. Telelestal, telelestal, it is finished. Today, by the power in the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the divine word of God, he sent forth his word and it heals them and delivers them. It heals them and delivers them from all their distraction, from all sicknesses and disease, from all COVID, all cancer, all arthritis, all diabetes, every pain, heart problem, kidney problem, liver problem, skin related problem, lungs problem, eye problem, neck problem, spinal problem, any joint, any muscle problem, 
anything wrong with your body by the power of the blood, by the power in the word, receive now your healing. I rebuke every spirit of infirmity, any demon behind that sickness. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Jesus rebukes you. Jesus rebukes you. Jesus rebukes you. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. Lose your victims. Lose your victims. Lose the children of Zion. Lose her now. Lose him now. Come out, you cancer. Come out, you diabetes. Come out, you COVID. Come out, you kidney problem. Come out, you liver problem. Come out, you heart problem. Come out, you blood problem. Come out, you colon problem. Come out, you kidney problem. In the name of Jesus. Come out, you sickness. Every pain. Out in the name. Out in the name. Come out in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft sickness. Deposited in your body through dreams. Deposited in your body through food and water. Deposited in your body through any point of contact. I cast that sickness out. I cast that demon out. I cast that spell, charm, witchcraft. Break and go in the name of Jesus. Break and go in the name of Jesus. I overcome you by the blood. I overcome every sickness by the blood. I overcome every disease by the blood. I overcome every illness by the blood. I overcome every infirmity by the blood. I overcome every weakness, every tiredness, every fatigue, whatever is wrong in your body. I overcome it by the power in the blood of Jesus. And I release, I infuse the blood into your body from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Let the power in the blood of Jesus flow through your vein and heal every organ, every tissue, anything wrong in your body. Be healed now. Be made whole now in the name of Jesus. I reverse, I reverse, I reject, I veto Every satanic diagnosis, I, re I reverse it. I, I reverse it. I veto it. I reverse it. I override it by the blood of Jesus. Every evil report, every negative report, every satanic diagnosis, I veto it. I reverse it. I revoke it. I reverse it. I revoke it. And I send it back to the sender. I command it back to the sender. I rebuke it out of your body. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Somebody, God is healing you right now. God says, forget about what the doctors are saying. Forget about what the lab report is, sh is showing. Whose report will you believe? Whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. The Bible says that who, has, who have they believed that the arm of the Lord may be revealed? Tonight, this morning, this afternoon, wherever you are, the healing power of Christ the healing power of Christ is being extended to you right now. The healing power. There's a healing power. There's a healing power. The blood of Christ from the cross of Calvary is touching you now. By his stripes, be healed. I want you to touch that part of your body, that area of your body where you are feeling sick, where you are feeling the weakness, where you are feeling the fatigue, whatever symptoms you are going through, whatever weaknesses and fatigue, whatever thing is wrong with your body, Wherever it is, just touch it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. 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 Let the power of God, let the anointing of God break, break, break the spirit of infirmity, the curse of infirmity, the spell of infirmity, the demon of infirmity. I bind you and cast you out in Jesus' name. Now as you partake of the blood, as you partake of the precious blood, make sure you have the Holy Communion, a grape juice. If you don't have, just get a bottle of water. Just get a bottle of water. A bottle of water, a glass of water. We turn it into the blood. We turn it into the blood. We turn it into the precious blood. We turn it into the precious blood. We turn every water into the precious blood. 
by the power you are not drinking any communion you are drinking the blood the blood still heals the blood still heals the blood still heals and that's why in luke chapter 1 verse 37 for with god nothing shall be impossible for with God, nothing shall be impossible. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. It doesn't matter the diagnosis. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. It doesn't matter the lab report. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. It doesn't matter whether it's COVID. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. It doesn't matter whether it's cancer. For with God, nothing shall be possible. Whether it is diabetes, high blood pressure. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. It doesn't matter whether it's lupus. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. It doesn't matter whether it's arthritis. Every thyroid, every seizure it went for with god nothing shall be impossible it doesn't matter what diagnosis what sickness that ails you that plagues you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus as you partake of the blood be made whole be made whole somebody the very glass of water you are holding after this go and give to that loved one who is in the hospital who is sick the lord heals them the healing power of God will touch them. They will recover. It doesn't matter what the doctors are saying and how they are giving up on them. God is going to resurrect. God is going to resurrect every tissues, any organs in your body where it's not functioning right by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power in the blood, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power in the blood, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power in the blood. Receive back life. 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 Let Lazarus come back to life. Let Lazarus come back to life let lazarus come back to life jesus says i am the resurrection and the life he who believes in me shall not die and those who are alive shall never die so anything that is dying in your body i command it to come alive come alive come alive by the blood of jesus come alive come alive let your heart come alive any sick heart come alive every sick sick lungs come alive any sick blood come alive any sick kidney lungs come alive every sick liver kidney colon come alive in the name of jesus may every organs in your body begin to come alive may they begin to be quickened back again be revived be revived by the resurrection power in the name of jesus by the resurrection power in the blood of jesus receive back your health Receive back your life. Any sickness, the witches and the wizards, family altars are trying to use to take your life. Whatever sickness has been given an assignment. Some sicknesses have an assignment and the assignment is to come and claim lives. The assignment is come to kill, to steal and to destroy. Any sickness that has crawled into your body with an evil assignment to die you quietly, to kill you quietly. Killing you softly. Killing you softly without you knowing. By the time you realize they diagnose you with fourth stage cancer. No, I, I curse. I curse every cancerous cells. I rebuke every cancerous demon. I curse every cancerous cells. And I rebuke every cancerous demon out of your body. Any COVID that they are using to kill people. That they want to use the same COVID to kill you. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Any heart problem, heart attack that they are using to kill people. That they want to use heart attack and stroke and coma against you. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Any blood related issues, diabetes, high blood pressure. That they, use, they are trying to use it to claim your life. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. I punish you out. I exile you out. Out of our bodies in the name of Jesus. As you drink the blood, receive back your energy and vitality. May whatever is wrong in your body be corrected by the blood. In the name of Jesus, let it flash out every sickness, every weakness, every evil diagnosis sickness out of your body. And let the health of Christ be your portion right now. You shall not die by any satanic sickness and disease in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, receive divine healing, divine health. May every negative symptoms begin to break and lose you now. Weaknesses, feverish, sinuses, signs of COVID, losing weight, skin color changing, losing your appetite, nausea and vomiting, headaches, Whatever it is that is going on wrong in your body, even doctors cannot explain it. 
today I break the curse. I break the curse of sickness and in disease and infirmity. And every arrow that has been shot into your body by your enemies to take you out. A guy was working at an enviable station as a broadcaster. And people were envious of his job. And there were competition for the, his position. When they realized that physically they could not outdo him because he was very good at, at his craft. They practiced witchcraft. One afternoon, whilst doing his presentation, he heard a voice. His, he started experiencing partial stroke, rushed to the hospital, and that was the, the way they killed, he was killed. And his killer was his own co-worker. A co-worker, a co-worker took him out through spiritual sickness on an afternoon. Whoever is trying to release stroke, heart attack, COVID, cancer, kidney problems, liver problems, lung problems, blood-related issues, joint, spinal, whatever issue, arrows they are releasing to take you out today let every satanic arrow return back to sender let every satanic arrow return back to sender let every satanic sickness return back to sender 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 i cast that arrow back to the sender out of your body out of your body out of your body i cast every growth I curse every tumor. I curse every fibroid. I curse every rashes. Every embolism. Whatever they have released to take you out. Whether softly or to take you one time. Some sickness is one time. Cancer, one time. Stroke. And coma can take you some time. Whatever arrow, whatever COVID, whatever sickness, tonight by the stripes of Jesus, you are receiving your healing. And the blood is also protecting you from the evil arrows of sickness and diseases. From the evil arrows of sickness and diseases. From the evil arrows of sickness and diseases. In the name of Jesus, let the blood speak for you and deliver you in the name of Jesus. The Lord says you shall not die. The Lord says you shall not die. This sickness will not lead you to your death. This sickness will not be able to carry out its satanic assignment. Yes, they've shot it in your body. Yes, it's reacting. Yes, you feel that something is wrong with you. But God says the assignment of this sickness, its potency has been neutralized, has been decapacitated by the blood of Jesus. It has been dis dissolved destroyed, dismantled by the power in the blood. As you drink the blood, may every venomous sickness in your body be neutralized by the power of the antivirus, anti-venom, anti-cancer, anti-diabetes, whatever sickness, may the power of the blood bring your healing. In the name of Jesus, the sickness can do you no harm. You you will see. You will go for tests. They will say, this, ah, you, we, we don't know, but you are getting stronger and stronger. Things are working. We don't know what's going on. The blood is speaking. The blood is healing. The blood is delivering you. Receive your healing now in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord lived young that you may live long. He took your sickness that you may enjoy health. Tonight, somebody, healing has come. Receive it by faith. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Have faith right now. As you drink the blood, as you drink the water, which has spiritually been turned into the blood, let the blood speak. Let the blood heal. Let the blood deliver you. Let the blood neutralize every sickness and eject out of your body. Some of you, as you drink this blood today, as you drink this water today, 
you will feel like vomiting or rushing to the bathroom. Any poison that was planted in you, the Lord will flush it out as you use your bowel, whether you are urinating or going to the bathroom. God is going to flush some things out of your body. This blood that you are taking, it is going in to fight battles inside of you. Any demonic orchestrated spells, charms, hexes, whatever you eat that has become a poison, wherever sickness that is hiding in your kidney, liver, in your heart, hiding in your lungs, hiding in your heart, whatever, it will flush it all out. It will flush every bacteria, vi um, viral out of your body. Cancerous cells will die and be flushed out. In the name of Jesus. Say this after me. I drink the blood. I drink the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Enter into my body. Blood of Jesus. Enter into my soul. Blood of Jesus. Enter into my spirit. And make me whole. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Amen. Drink it by faith. It is well. You are healed. Fear not. For with God, nothing clean spirit, any demonic spirit, any python, any Levitan spirit, every underconda spirit, any witchcraft spirit, any all evil altar, any satanic spirit that has swallowed me up in the name of Jesus. I turn into Holy Ghost fire. I turn into Holy Ghost fire. I turn into Holy Ghost fire. Let the fire of God in me, let the fire of God around me begin to consume your stomach, begin to consume your belly until you have no choice to vomit me out. 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 Put your right hand on your stomach, your belly button, your belly button, and begin saying, In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every evil spirit that has swallowed me up, vomit me by fire, vomit me out 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 by fire. Any unclean spirit, any demonic spirit, any witchcraft spirit, any marine spirit, any evil altar in my mother's house, in my father's house, any witchcraft spirit, every marine power that has swallowed swallowed my soul, that has swallowed my body, that has swallowed my spirit, that has swallowed my life. In the name of Jesus, I command you, vomit me out. 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 Spit me out. Vomit me out. Cough me out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Now I'm going to pray. And as I pray for you, all you are doing is just breathe out. Just breathe out and some of you will begin to come under the power of God and there will be manifestation of coughing, sneezing. If you have to vomit, vomit. If you have to use the restroom, use it. But God is bringing deliverance and evil spirit is going to vomit you out. It's going to release you. It's going to release your soul. It's going to release your mind. It's going to release your joy. It's going to release your peace. It's going to release your health. It's going to leave your, release your... Somebody yesterday was saying, as they were interceding for their son, they were the ones manifesting. The Lord was making you get deliverance for your son yes it can happen you can stand in the gap for somebody and the person as you are going through the deliverance the person is receiving their deliverance may the lord through you bring deliverance to your husband through you deliverance for your son in the name of jesus begin to just breathe out you breathe in and you breathe out you breathe in and you breathe out as you breathe in you are taking in the fire of god and as you are breathing out may any unclean spirit that has swallowed you up begin to vomit you out in the name of jesus in the name of jesus just begin to breathe in and breathe out if you feel like coughing let begin to cough if you begin to vomit vomit it out if you begin to uh, yawn yawn sneeze whatever it is the spirit of the enemy is bringing something something out of you is coming out you are coming out you are coming out your soul is coming out your soul is coming out from that demonic prison from that witchcraft prison in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus as you breathe out as you cough out as you vomit in the name of jesus let every power that has swallowed you up vomit by fire vomit by fire vomit by fire just begin to cough it out begin to breathe out begin to cough it out begin to cough out begin to cough out begin to cough out <coughs> begin to cough it out in the name of jesus in the name of jesus don't pray don't pray just breathe out cough out or vomit in the name of jesus holy ghost fire Holy Ghost fire, 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 Holy Ghost fire. I set the belly of that evil spirit. I set the belly of that strong man. I set the belly of that marine spirit. I set that belly on that spirit husband, of that spirit wife. I set their belly. I set their stomach on fire. Let them vomit you out. Let them vomit you out. 
that which cast spirit, vomit you out, that satanic animal, vomit her out, vomit him out, vomit her out, vomit him out, yes, cough it out. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Yes, break and come out. You are coming 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 out. Out of the belly. Out of the belly of the big fish. Out of the belly of the python. Out of the belly of the underconda spirit, out of the belly of that evil altar, out of the belly of that witchcraft spirit, break and come out. Holy Ghost fire, 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 out in Jesus' name, out in Jesus' name. I command your soul out, 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 out of prison, out of cage, out of the stomach of every demonic entity out of every altar in the name of jesus you shall not die you shall not be wasted you will not be sacrificed you will not die your son will not die your daughter will not die your husband will not die in the name of jesus 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 break and come out somebody you are coughing blood you are coughing blood it is a sign of the spirit of death and destruction break and come out break and come out break and come out yes cough it out Cough it out, cough it out, cough it out, vomit it out in the name of Jesus. Come out by liquid, come out by air, come out by liquid, come out by air, come out by liquid. Break and go, break and loose, break and go, break and loose in the name of Jesus. 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 I command every satanic beast, satanic animal. Satanic snake, satanic leviathan, demonic spirit, marine spirit, ancestral powers, demonic entities, loose head, loose him, loose head, loose him, fire, 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 break and go. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Lord, that your soul has escaped. Your soul has escaped. Your soul has escaped. Your soul has escaped, according to Psalms 124, verse 7. Our soul has escaped as a bed. Your soul has escaped. Your soul has escaped. Your soul has escaped. You cannot pray. You cannot read your word. You cannot meditate on the word of God. You cannot walk in your liberty, your, in, your, in your freedom, in your emancipation. You cannot serve the Lord. You cannot break loose from that addiction. You cannot break free from that stronghold. In the name of Jesus, your soul has been freed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Today, yesterday and today, the Lord has been merciful and has brought deliverance to many. May your deliverance that you have received today become permanent. I seal your deliverance with the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus will say, go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. The Bible says that when an unclean spirit leaves a man, he goes wandering around. If he doesn't find any place, he will return back to his former dwelling and see whether it is well finished without being occupied so if you don't make sure that for you to maintain your deliverance make sure you are born again make sure that you have received jesus christ into your life as your lord and personal savior make sure that you are filled with the holy spirit make sure that from now you start reading the bible make sure that you start giving yourself to the service of god make sure that you don't return back to your vomit your sins keep away from sin Start reading the Bible. If you are, find a, a, a Bible-based church and get yourself connected to the ministry and it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. And begin to read your scriptures and you will make sure that these unclean spirits don't come back to come for your soul. In Jesus' name, we thank God that today your soul has been liberated, has been delivered from the powers of darkness. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Amen and amen and amen. We give him the praise. Thank you. Somebody, the Lord touched you even in the process of you were vomiting blood. Whenever you are vomiting blood, it's a sign of death and destruction. Others were vomiting. Others were burping, coughing. It's all signs of deliverance. The Lord has delivered you. Receive it and maintain it in Jesus' name. Our scripture reading for tomorrow is um, Judges chapter 21. Judges chapter... Uh, tomorrow is Judges chapter 20. And Monday is Judges 21. Tomorrow is Judges chapter 20. Make sure you, you keep up with the Bible studies. That's how we maintain our deliverance.
Some of you pray for me, pray for me. It's not going to happen. Go back and listen to yesterday's broadcast. Listen to this today's broadcast and play it again and play again and again and keep on allowing the power of God to cleanse you from all impurities or any demonic strongholds as you pray along. Believe and you'll be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. So tomorrow is Sunday. We are not meeting. Our next meeting is on Monday. God willing, Monday. And Monday is Judges chapter 21. The fasting continues. We'll be ending the fasting the fasting on the 23rd of this month. 23rd of this month. Our fasting ends on 23rd of this month of November. So we still have some days ahead of us. You can always join the fasting and join and, and, and fast with us from 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening. 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening. And we meet every day at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. 3 a.m. for those of you in London. 5 a.m. for those of you in Europe. And um, Australia is 1 p.m. And India is 8 a.m. So just join us from Monday to Saturday daily for prayers and join the fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And your life will never be the same in Jesus' name. May the Lord deliver our soul from destruction in Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord preserve you and preserve your loved ones. Amen. The book we are using for this season is Touch Not My Anointed. You have to be too hot. Too hot that no devil, no demon, no witch is able to touch you, to devour you, to destroy you, to steal from you or to or molest you. This book will teach you how to walk in the power of God, the anointing of God to make you untouchable, unstoppable, unbreakable, unconquerable, indestructible, invincible in the hands of your enemies. Walking in the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Get your copy today or get it for somebody to be a great blessing to them. Go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com Get your copy. We sell it on ebook and Kindle only. When you when you, you buy it, it will be sent to your email. Start reading it during this fasting and the Lord is going to use it to bless you. There are a lot of prophetic uh, and dangerous fiery prayers in it to help you through the fasting and come out victoriously in Jesus name. You can get it on our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com for any test uh, for any donation, any sacrifices to raise at the altar, you can do so through the website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com for any donation, any sacrifice at the altar, you can do so through the website www.freshfireprayer.com www. If it's cash up, it's Fresh Fire Prayer. Fresh Fire Prayer. Amen and amen. Whoever is calling, please stop calling. We are praying. We are praying. Time for prayers is not time for talking. I'm very straight with this because I want people to learn how to pray to defend themselves. We are in a very dangerous season that if you don't learn it now, a time is coming, you'll be waiting for people to do and they will not be there. I don't know how long the Antichrist system is going to allow the social media platform for the gospel to be preached. I don't know when, but very soon there it, it, it is coming a time whereby they will stop these things from going on and make sure by that time you have learned enough to stand on your feet alone to stand don't you see what's going on in our world you can't do this you can't do this unless you have this <laughs> you can't go here you can't do this you can't have this unless you have this the same way they are telling you to have this before you can do this there's coming a time whereby also they will tell you if you don't have the success mark, the antichrist mark, you can't buy, you can't sell, you can't keep your job, you can't keep your apartment, you can't hold your, your position, you can't go to the hospital without the success mark. So whatever we are seeing now is all a prelude, a preparation, a preparation to tell you that we are almost there. You see how this vaccine and mass and everything has affected every area of our lives. It has affected every area. Everybody's directly or indirectly impacted by what's going on globally. Globally, so isn't it waking you up to know that we are close to the book of Revelation about what Jesus said that there's going to be the, the Antichrist? This should wake you and I up to start knowing Jesus. Know Jesus, know God for yourself. We don't stop talking about hard copies, there's no more hard copies, just uh, make use of the um 
ebook that's all we have and start enjoying it rather than um looking forward for the hard copy it's not happening right now if you have any testimony if you have any testimony let the redeem of the lord say so satan i rebuke you i rebuke you in the name of jesus i rebuke you and i overcome you by the blood can you say it satan i overcome you by the blood of jesus Satan, I overthrow you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of depression, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of suicide, I overcome you with the blood of Jesus. Spirit of discouragement, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of witchcraft, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of voodoo, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Psychic powers fighting against me, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of infirmity, spirit of sickness and weakness, spirit of sickness and weakness. Somehow, some way, you, they have attacked you on your health, and you are already feeling sick. You are feeling sickly, and they are trying to diagnose you with all sort of sicknesses. Somehow, they are attacking your emotions. Somehow, they are stuck in your mind. Spirit of infirmity, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of sickness, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of disease, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of weakness, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of depression, spirit of depression. Why are you sadly depressed? Why are you sadly depressed? Spirit of depression, in the name of Jesus, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of fear, why are you afraid? Why are you afraid of tomorrow? Why are you afraid of the future? Why are you afraid of your about your marriage? Why are why this sudden fear that you are not going to make it? Why this sudden fear that you are going to die? Why this sudden fear that you are going to lose your marriage? Why this sudden fear that has gripped you to the point that you don't even know why you are afraid? Why are thou afraid? You spirit of fear, in the name of Jesus, I overcome you. I overcome you. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. You spirit of witchcraft that is bewitching my mind. You spirit of witchcraft that is releasing spells against my marriage. You spirit of witchcraft that is attacking my health. You spirit of witchcraft that is attacking my finances. You spirit of witchcraft that is attacking me in my dream. I overcome you by the blood. I overcome you by the blood. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. You hindering spirit. You hindered me last year. This year to have seen you already trying to hinder my progress. Trying to hinder my blessing i overcome you i overcome you by the blood of jesus for the bible says we overcame the devil we overcame the demons we overcame the witches we overcame the enemy hey by the blood by the blood satan i overcome you by the blood Every problem I'm expressing right now, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Every financial problem, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Every divorce problem, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Every marital problem, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Every health problem, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Every attack on my life, um, on my children, on my marriage, on my family. Satan, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Satan, I overcome you. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Don't keep quiet. You shall declare it and it shall be established. If you sit down, they will, they will kill God's purpose for your life this year also. Speak out. Say, Satan, demons, witches, wizards, enemies, problems, I overcome you. I overcome you. I overcome you. By the blood of Jesus, I overcome you. I overcome you. Satan, I overcome you. You will not succeed. You will not succeed. You will not succeed in destroying my marriage. You will not succeed in giving me cancer. You will not succeed in killing me. You will not succeed in hindering me. You will not succeed in causing me to be afraid. You will not succeed in causing me to be discouraged and give up. Oh, Satan, I overcome you. I overcome you. I overcome you. I defeat you. I overcome you. I overthrow you. I overcome you. I vanquish you. I overcome you. I dethrone you by the power. By the power. By the power. By the power. Power in the blood of Jesus, I overcome my enemies, I overcome those witches, I overcome those wizards, I overcome my problems by the blood. Oh, I see mountains becoming a plain. That's what I was prophesying. Mountains are becoming a plain. I see breakthroughs. I see breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. Uh, suddenly there's a breakthrough. I see a mountain that was before you now become a plain. I see a chain starting breaking. Chains are breaking off you right now. Charms are breaking off you right now. As you were saying it, Satan, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Can you just repeat it? Repeat it. 
whatever problem you are going through, just say, I overcome it by the blood of Jesus. I overcome it by the blood of Jesus. As you are saying, angels are fighting for you spiritually. Because the Bible says that the same God who energized and strengthened in Jamaica to overcome Satan and his crew, that same God is fighting for you right now. Satan, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Please open your mouth and speak. Open your mouth and speak. This is not for lazy Christians. This is for people who will speak and the angels will fight for you. You will speak because there's power in the blood of Jesus. There's power to heal. There's power to deliver. There's power to afford you that miracle right now. Satan, I overcome you. I overcome you. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Witches, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Cancer, I overcome you overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Diabetes, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. High blood pressure, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Every sickness in my body, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Every spells and charms and hexes against my life, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Every evil dream, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of divorce and separation and confusion in marriage, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of unemployment, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of delay, stagnation, singleness, barrenness, unemployment, frustration, disappointment. Hey, I overcome you by the blood. I overcome you by the blood. Satan, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Hey, malaba suntele bashanda kapale kala rokotolo bosekete le katayadada. Spirit of depression, I overcome you by the blood. Spirit of depression, I overcome you by the blood. Spirit of depression, I overcome you by the blood. Spirit of discouragement, I overcome you by the blood. Spirit of worry, I overcome you by the blood. In the name of Jesus, I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. Receive your deliverance. Witchcraft spirit, I overcome you. Let the power in the blood, let the power in the blood, let the power of the Holy Ghost, let the power in the blood of Jesus deliver you from every witchcraft assault, from every demonic attack, from every spirit of death. Spirit of death, I overcome you. Anyone hearing the sound of my voice who has been appointed to die early this year, I overcome the spirit of death by the blood of Jesus. I overcome the spirit of death by the blood of Jesus. I overcome the spirit of premature death by the blood, by the blood, by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of accident. I overcome you by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, by the blood. Be loose, be delivered. In Jesus' name. Oh, I see God setting the captives free. I see God opening the prison doors. I see God breaking you free and loose from the altar of sacrifice. I see God making mountains level before you. Rescue pattern before you. I see God changing things spiritually which will manifest by the end of Friday. By Friday, you will have seen a miracle, a breakthrough, a miracle, a breakthrough, a miracle, a miracle by the blood, a miracle by the blood, a miracle by the blood, a breakthrough by the blood, a miracle by the blood, a breakthrough by the blood, a miracle by the blood, a breakthrough by the blood, a miracle by the blood, a breakthrough by the blood, a miracle by the blood, the blood, the blood is giving you the victory you need for your early breakthrough, for your early deliverance, your early miracle by the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. One more word, one more word for you. He says that they swarmed around me like a beast. They were extinguished like a burning tongues. May your enemies, may your problems become extinguished. Become extinguished in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord, I will surely cut them off. As we were praying, the Lord was cutting down demons, cutting down witches, cutting down irons, cutting down chains, cutting down spells, cutting them down, destroying them in your life. You have no idea what the Lord has done for you right now as you are hearing the word of God and believing and receiving it. Somebody, I will tell you, by this prophetic, just so into it, so into it. It's not how much, but just say, Lord, I believe what you have said, that this issue is coming to an end right now. What they plan, it will not succeed. So into this message and it will never, you will never be the same. Then verse 13. The verse 13 is what God brought me here to speak to you about. He says in verse 13, I was pushed so hard. They pushed me so hard. They pushed me violently that I might fall. But the Lord held me. They push me. They, they push you. They are pushing you. They are pushing you. They are pushing you out of that marriage. They are pushing you out of your health. They are pushing you out of your job. They are pushing you out of your finances. They are pushing you out of your peace. They are pushing you out of your job. They are pushing you out of your miracle. They are pushing you so you can fall and be destroyed. They push me violently. That I may fall. Somebody wants you to fall. Somebody wants you to fall early. But the Lord held me. 
tonight God has sent me to tell you he is helping you. He is helping you. He knows the enemies who are so angry to see you make it and break through this year. And he says he has come to help you. The Lord says he is in to help you. Whatever you are going through, as you hear the sound of my voice, the Lord sends help to you. The Lord sends help to you. According to Psalm 50 verse 15, says you shall call upon me in the days of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. He is in to help you. They are pushing you. They want you to fall. They are pushing you. They want you to die. They are pushing you violently. They are pushing you fiercely. They are pushing and attacking you. Wanting you to die. Other verses says that my enemies did their best to kill me. They did their best to kill me. They wish you dead. They wish your marriage dead. They wish your health dead. They wish your children dead. They are pushing you to kill you. But the Lord, the Lord Jesus, anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus, he rescued me. The Lord Jesus is rescuing you from this problem. I don't know what you are going through. He is rescuing you in within 24 hours. I prophesy your deliverance. I prophesy divine help to locate you. I prophesy your rescue. I prophesy your emancipation. I, re I, I prophesy that your redeemer, your deliverer, your redeemer, your deliverer, your rescuer, let God come and rescue you from this problem. Come and rescue you from your enemies. Come and rescue you from that accident. Come and rescue you from that danger, that trap, that snare that they have set for your destruction. Let the angel of the Lord rescue you within 24 hours in the name of Jesus. Within 24 hours, you are coming out of this problem. You are coming out of this depression. You are coming out of this attack. You are coming out in the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus. That says the Lord. They pushed me violently that I may fall, but the Lord rescued me. What they intended for evil, the Lord is going to turn it for good in Jesus' mighty name. I rest my case. This is a prophetic word. This is not my words. This is what God is saying to you. They have pushed you they were expecting you to fall early this year, but God says he has rescued you. They have pushed you early this week, but God says it will not happen. They have pushed you early today, but it's not going to happen. The Lord is going to redeem you. He's going to deliver you from their trap, from their snare. They, have, they might have set it at, against you at your workplace. They may have set it against you at the roadside so that you have the accent. They may have set it against you at your job so that you make that mistake and lose that job. They may have set it so that you do something so that they can what, attack you. But the Lord, whatever trap, whatever snare, whatever devices, whatever agenda, your enemies plotted against you. God says he has come to help you, to rescue you, to deliver you from the plans of your enemies. Thank God for deliverance from the powers of darkness. Father, I lift up prayers for everyone hearing the sound of my voice. Lord, any devil, any demon, any witch, any wizard, any agent, any power that is pushing them violently that they might fall and fail and be destroyed and perish. Lord, according to your word, you said you will rescue them. You said you will help them. You said you will deliver them. You said you will emancipate them, redeem them from the plans of their enemy. You are a rescuer. Lord, rescue them, deliver them, and, 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 and Father God, make a way within 24 hours where there seems to be no way, miraculously, and let them receive their breakthrough. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for you. Amen and amen and amen. Go to our website. If you are led by this and if you are in that situation, so I see towards it. It doesn't matter. It's not the amount. It is just activating your faith. Go to freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. Any seed. Any seed. Say, Father, this is a word. I need it to be able to break through this season. And say, Father, help me. Use the scripture. Use when you say the, 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 the seed. Use this specific scripture. Psalms 118 verse 13. I don't know what it means to you right now. They pushed me violently that I may fall, but the Lord rescued me. This is a message for somebody this very minute, minute, this very day, this very. God has to do something for you. Psalms 118 verse 13. Psalms 118 verse 13. When you sow the CC, I tap into, I tap into Psalms 118 verse 13. I am tapping into this prophetic word. I am receiving it and I'm asking God, provoking God to Stand by his word and do it for me. And God will do it for you. www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com Just click on the donation. It is not the amount. It is your feet. Just drop whatever God leaves on your heart to come bring out, be out in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are using Cash App, it's Fresh Fire Prayer. Fresh Fire Prayer. Fresh Fire Prayer. Obey this instruction. And not everybody. There's somebody why the message today was changed. It was for somebody. I didn't come in for this message. But God says there's somebody within 24 hours, I have to do something for them. And God is going to do it for you. Anyhow, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
peace be unto you all amen let them be bound let them be bound any forces of darkness from the pit of hell that is fighting your marriage fighting your finances fighting your children fighting your health i bind them up in the name of jesus for whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven i bind up the powers of darkness operating against you in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus let god arise and cause your enemies to be scattered let god arise and cause your enemies to be scattered let god arise every familiar spirit every familiar spirit every household witches every household witches that are contending against you fighting your miracle fighting your marriage fighting your immigration fighting your health fighting your children fighting your pros your, your, your prosperity fighting your finances fighting your progress fighting your blessing let that witch die let that wizard die let that witch die let that wizard die whoever has cast a spell against you whoever is bewitching you i command the power of witchcraft operating against you to be destroyed by fire to be destroyed by thunder to be destroyed by fire to be destroyed by thunder to be destroyed by fire to be destroyed by thunder every witchcraft operating against your marriage be destroyed by fire be destroyed by thunder every witchcraft operating against your body against your mind against your health be destroyed by fire be destroyed by thunder every witchcraft operating against your finances be destroyed by fire be destroyed by thunder every witchcraft blocking opportunities causing delay frustrate your destiny let that power of witchcraft be destroyed by fire by thunder by fire by thunder by fire by thunder by fire by thunder in the name of jesus let the power of which can be destroyed of your life anyone who has cursed your life today i reverse the curse i break the curse 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 any curse operating against you by witches by wizards by agents of darkness by your enemies that is operating against you i reverse the curse i break the curse of your life i break the curse of your health i break the curse of your marriage i break the curse of your finances i break the curse of your organs i break the curse i release you in the name of jesus i command your soul to escape I command your soul to escape. I command your soul to escape as a bed out of the snares of the fallout. I soak you body, soul, and spirit in the precious blood of Jesus. I soak your family in the blood of Jesus. I soak your going out and coming in the blood of Jesus. I soak your soul in the blood of Jesus. I soak you that no weapon. And I declare and decree over your life. I declare and decree over your family. I declare and decree over your children. I declare and decree over your family and your entire household and your entire your family that no weapon, no weapon form or fashion against you. It shall not stand. It shall not prosper. No weapon formed against you shall ever prosper and every lips that has been risen up against you to condemn you i pull it down i tear it down i throw it down i demolish the plans of the enemy against you in the name of jesus christ and i declare and decree that every plans of the enemy against you during this season let it be frustrated let it be thwarted let it be frustrated let it be thwarted in the name of jesus every accident that your enemies are planned against you we frustrate it and we scatter it every premature death that your enemies are planned against you we frustrate it and scatter it every plot of the enemy to attack your mind to attack your job, to attack your finances, to attack your children, to attack your loved ones. We frustrate it and dis destroy it in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of sickness, let it go back to sender. Every arrow that has been shot against you this week, this month, I send the arrow back to sender. I send the arrow back to sender in the name of Jesus. Every pit, your enemies have dug for your destruction. Let your enemies fall into their own pit this week. Let your enemies fall into their own pit this week. Any familiar spirit, any familiar person who is close to you, who is bewitching you, Lord, Lord expose them. Lord expose them. Lord expose them. Lord disarm them. Lord disarm them. Lord disarm them. Lord disgrace them. Lord disgrace them. Lord disgrace them. Lord destroy them. Lord destroy them. Lord destroy them. In the name of Jesus, any internal witch, any internal witch, any familiar witch, any witch that is close to you, pretending to be a friend, pretending to be a family member, pretending to be a co-worker, pretending to be a Christian brother or sister, any witch or wizard who is close to you, who is harming you, who is destroying you who is frustrating your life without your knowledge may the lord expose them may the lord expose them this week may the lord expose them this week may the lord expose them this week may the lord expose and disarm them lord disarm them lord disarm our enemies lord disarm our enemies lord disgrace our enemies lord disgrace our enemies lord disgrace our enemies lord destroy our enemies in the name of jesus let them be exposed up let them be exposed up let them be exposed up every witch every wizard every agent of darkness every evil vessel that the 
devil is using against us without our knowledge. Let them be exposed by fire by thunder. Let them be exposed by fire by thunder. Let their plans be exposed. Let their plans be exposed. Let their plans be exposed in the name of Jesus. May the Lord disarm them. May the Lord disarm them so that they will not be able to carry out their enterprise against you. May the Lord disgrace them. Lord, disgrace them this week. And Lord, destroy them. Destroy them. You said, suffer not a witch to live. So whoever is delighting in practicing witchcraft to destroy us, Lord, let them die by fire. Let them die by thunder. Let them die by fire. Let them die by thunder. Let them die by fire. Let them die by thunder. Whatever witchcraft they are operating against us, against our finances, against our job, against our health, against our fi- fi- our jobs, against our children, against our marriage, let their witchcraft against our health be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Their witchcraft against our families, against our children, against our household, against our destiny. Let the power of witchcraft be broken. Be broken and be shattered into pieces. Be broken and be shattered into pieces. I break the power of witchcraft off your life. I release you. I release your soul from imprisonment. Every evil bad dream that which is projected in, in your dream world. Any bad dream you had. Somebody you are listening to me, you had a very terrible dream and in the dream you were shot. In the dream you find yourself dead. In the dream you find yourself dead. Today I cancel that evil dream. I cancel that evil dream. There's somebody you had a very terrible nightmare. You woke up and you were so disturbed by the dream you couldn't even remember. Today in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever your enemies have planned against you this week, whatever your enemies have planned against you this month, I cancel it by the blood of Jesus. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. I cancel it by the blood of Jesus. I cancel in the name of Jesus. That dream shall not stand. It shall not prosper. It will not materialize. I nullify it in the name of Jesus Christ. And I cover you in the name of Jesus Christ, in the blood of Jesus. And I declare over you that you shall not die, but you shall live and declare the wonderful works of the Lord. No weapon formed against you shall ever prosper. And every lips raising up against you in judgment, I condemn it in the name of Jesus Christ. When your enemies come against you like a flood, may the spirit of the living God lift up and stand against them. May the, when they come in in one way, may the Lord scatter them in seven ways. May the Lord arise. Let the God arise. Let God arise. And let your enemies be scattered. Let God arise and let your enemies be scattered. Enemies in your mother's house, let them be scattered. Enemies in your father's house, let them be scattered. Enemies from the witch's camp, witch camp coven, let them be scattered. I scatter their covens. I scatter their warehouse. I scatter their covens. I scatter their shrine. I scatter their court. I scatter them. We set their camp. We set their coven. We set their meeting place on fire in the name of Jesus. Let that witch be blinded. Let them be paralyzed. We, we, we release the judgment of insanity and madness and paralysis and sudden death unto every witch and wizard who wishes us dead. Let them die instead of us. Whoever wishes you dead, let them die instead of you. Let them die instead of you. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord bring salvation to you. May the Lord bring deliverance to you. May the Lord show you his salvation. May the Lord protect you. I pray for the angel of the Lord to form a wall of fire of protection all around us. During this season of Easter, whereby there's all many witchcraft activities, may the Lord preserve you. May the Lord preserve you. May he preserve your going out. May he preserve your coming in. May he preserve your soul. May you preserve your children. May you preserve. May you be preserved by the blood of Jesus. Wherever you go, let the blood preserve you. Let the blood protect you in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over you that you are exempted from satanic attacks. You are exempted from demonic attacks. You are exempted from evil. You There will be no bad news around you in the name of Jesus. For the Bible says that he or she who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Oh, may you abide in the shadow of the Almighty. May the precious blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost be a protective covering around you in the mighty name of Jesus. And now prophesy that by the resurrection power of Jesus Christ, this week, anything that looks dead in your life, anything that looks hopeless in your life, anything that looks impossible in your life, I prophesy that let the resurrection power of Jesus bring it back to life. Let the resurrection power of Jesus bring it back to life. Let the resurrection power of Jesus bring your marriage back to life. Bring your finances back to life. Bring your health back to life. Bring your children back to life. Whatever looks dead in your life, I command it to come back to life. Whatever looks hopeless in your life, I command it to come back to life. Dead dreams, dead visions, dead, dead faith, let it come back to life. Let it come back to life. Whatever is dead in your life, I command it in the name of Jesus to come back to life. Receive life. Receive life. Receive life by the resurrection power. The Bible says in Ezekiel 37, it's a prophesy to the dry bones. And when Ezekiel prophesied, the dry bones came back to life. So in the name of Jesus, I prophesy that in the next 24 hours, somebody receive your miracle. In the next 48 hours, somebody receive your miracle somebody to buy 72 hours by friday receive your miracle receive your breakthrough receive your miracle you receive your breakthrough anything any demonic hindrances any demonic hindrances so many people are being delayed right now during this season i command the curse of delay to be broken i command the bewitchment of delay to be broken any demon that is delayed
delaying your miracle. That is delaying your, your progress. That is delaying your, your, your success. That is delaying your achievement. That is delaying your testimony. That is delaying your breakthrough. Let that demon of delay be destroyed by fire. Be consumed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Be consumed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Every spirit of delay, catch fire and die. Every spirit of delay, catch fire and die. Every witchcraft of delay, be consumed by fire. Every curse of delay, be broken in the name of Jesus. I lose you from the spirit of delay. And I command in the name of Jesus, by the prophetic tongue ascendancy, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the resurrection power, let your miracle come to you speedily. I release your job speedily. I release your healing speedily. I release your deliverance speedily. I release favor to you speedily. I release open doors to you speedily. I release your immigration papers speedily. I release your pregnancy speedily. I release your children speedily. I release that job speedily. I release that opportunity for you to get into your, the school of your choice, to pursue the career that you want uh, to speedily. I release, I release the you go to the court for a case, you are receiving favor. You are receiving favor. You'll be acquitted and you're going to win that court case. I release favor. I release victory. I release favor. I release victory in the name of Jesus. May the Lord surprise somebody with a major financial breakthrough. Somebody you are coming to contact with financial breakthrough. Help is coming. Bills are going to be paid. Credits are going to be canceled. Debt are going to be canceled. In the name of Jesus, God is going to perform a miracle for us this week. Believe it, receive it, and it is done in the name of Jesus. Somebody, you are receiving your healing right now. The pain you are feeling on your chest is disappearing right now. The pain you are expressing on your head is going right now. The pain you are expressing at your back is going right now. That knee pain is going. Pain is going. Somebody, you are in great pain. But today, right now, receive healing. Receive healing. I command pain out. I command pain out. I command pain out. I command pain out. I cast cancer out of your body. I cast diabetes out of your body. I cast high blood pressure out of your body. I cast every sickness out of your body. In the name of Jesus, let every witchcraft attack on your body be destroyed by fire, by thunder, by fire, by thunder, by fire, by thunder. Break loose in the name of Jesus. I command every door. That is shut before you. Be open in Jesus' name. Be open in Jesus' name. Be open in Jesus' name. Somebody, by Friday, a door that was shut is going to be open. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. May the Lord compel your divine helpers to help you. That's what is called compelling help. Compelling help. When God begins to force and compel people, even against their will, to help you, may the Lord compel. May God compel people, even your enemies, even your haters. God compel them to help you. God compel them to bless you. God compel your enemy, your, your enemies to help you. God compel your divine helpers to help you. May they not have any rest, any peace until they help you. In the name of Jesus, I command the revival and the resuscitation of dead marriages because of the resurrection power. I promise prophesied into your marriage that your marriage will not end in divorce and separation. Your husband is coming back. Your marriage will be restored. Your husband is coming back. Your marriage will be stopped. I cancel every divorce letter. I cancel it and I block it in the name of Jesus. Your marriage will not end in divorce. Your husband will come back to his senses. He will come back home. He will come back. The marriage will be restored. I break the power of witchcraft off your marriage. I break the power of witchcraft off your work. Somebody, you are going through a major attack at your workplace. In the name of Jesus, before Friday, those who are harassing you, those who are tormenting you, the Lord will scatter them. The Lord will scatter them. The Lord will scatter them. May the Lord scatter your enemies at your workplace and show you his salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Please, we are in the season that you need to pray, pray, pray. And please get this book, Consuming Fire for Fire, and use it. Use it to pray. Yes, you to pray. We, this week, you need to pray against witchcraft. You need to pray against internal enemies. You need to pray against familiar spirits. So please, I encourage you to get the book, um, Consuming Fire for Fire. Go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com, www.freshfireprayer.com, and get your copy and start praying it. You can get it on the ebook or the Kindles. Right now, the books are also on Kindle. You can get it on Kindle on Amazon, but just go to our website and you can get the link to our Kindle on Amazon and, and begin to pray. You get, We need to pray against witchcraft. There's serious witchcraft activities going on. Serious witchcraft, but if you can pray, God will fight for you and victory shall be yours. Go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com Go to the store and you can get the ebook, the candle or the paperback. God richly bless you. Hallelujah. God says, I will execute judgment for I am the Lord. Now the blood shall be a sign on your house. Where you are, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you. 
when I see the blood, I will pass over you. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. And the plague, and the plague, no demonic plague, no satanic plague, no witchcraft plague, no altar in your mother's house, altar in your father's house, no evil expectations of your adversaries, your enemies, those who are wishing your demise, having sinister intentions about you and are waiting to hear a bad news from your end. The plague shall not come upon you. Your son will not die. Your daughter will not die. Your husband will not die. You shall not die. You will not be sacrificed. You will not be wasted. They cannot succeed in destroying you. Why? Because you are marked, protected, defended, shielded, secured, fortified in the precious blood of Jesus. I will pass over. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, by the efficacy, by the potency, by the immunity in the precious blood of Jesus, by the efficacy in the blood, by the potency in the blood, by the immunity in the blood, there shall be a Passover. There shall be a Passover on my life. And that of my family. There shall be what? A Passover. Accident will pass over you. Sickness, disease will pass over you. Ailment will pass over you. Cancer will pass over you. High blood pressure will pass over you. COVID will pass over you. Every inheritory sickness will pass over you. Incurable sickness will pass over you. Chronic sickness will pass over you. Any terminal sickness will pass over you. Whether attack on your liver, attack on your lungs, attack on your kidney, attacks on your prostate, attacks on your on your on, on any organs in your body, all satanic arrows and that against you will pass over you because you are marked say i'm marked by the blood of jesus i am marked by the blood of jesus i am marked by the blood of jesus i am protected by the blood of jesus i am marked by the blood of jesus i sprinkle the blood all over my body soul and spirit i sprinkle the blood over all my body soul and spirit i sprinkle the blood over my sons and daughters i sprinkle the blood over my house i sprinkle 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 the blood i sprinkle the blood i am marked by the blood i cannot be wasted i cannot be destroyed i cannot be destroyed because of the blood There's power in the blood of Jesus. Today, the Lord is assuring you that your enemies may be planning to destroy you because the Lord says, I will pass over you and the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the Egyptians. Now let's go to verse 22. Exodus 12 verse 22. And you shall take a bunch of hyssop, dip it in the blood that is in the basin and strike the lintel and the doorpost with the blood that is in the basin. And none of you shall go out of the door of his house until morning. Meaning as long as you stay in Christ and in God and dwell in him, you are covered. That's what I'm saying that if you are following the prayers and the teachings and you are connected, committed, and consistent on this prayer platform, I don't see how the devil can touch you. I'm not saying they will not attack you. I'm not saying that they will not fight you. For the Bible makes us to understand in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 19 that the Bible says, though they will fight against you, they will not prevail against you. Because I am with you to deliver you. So fight, they will fight. 
attack, they will attack. Contend, they will contend with you. But the assurance I can guarantee you is that they shall not prevail. They shall not prevail over your son. They shall not prevail over your marriage. They shall not prevail over your health. They shall not prevail over your daughter. They shall not prevail over your life. They shall not prevail. Witchcraft will not prevail. Demons will not prevail. Your enemies will not prevail. Your haters will not prevail. Yes, they will fight you. Yes, they will contend against you. Yes, they will practice their witchcraft. That, but they shall not prevail. They shall not prevail. According to Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 19. They shall fight you. But they shall not prevail. For I am with you to deliver you. So death will not succeed. Sickness will not succeed. They will, they will try everything. But the Lord will cause you to escape. Say in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood. I escape. I escape. I escape. My family escape. My marriage escape. My life escape. The plans of my enemies. Verse 23. For the Lord will pass through to strike the Egyptians. For the Lord will pass through to strike the Egyptians. The Lord will pass through to strike the Egyptians. On this particular day, as the Lord was preserving the lives of his children, he was striking and smiting their enemies. I pray that today, as we invoke the protection, divine protection of the blood over your life, over your soul, over your spirit, over your family, over your loved ones, may the sword of vengeance, may the sword of judgment be deployed and let it enter into the camp. Let it enter into the quarters. Let it enter into the covens, the meeting place, the high places, their grooves, their caves, their shrines, their temples. Wherever they meet, their high places, under trees, in the, in the water, in the second heavens, wherever your enemies meet and converge to carry out their satanic assignment and agenda and pass verdict against you. We deploy the sword of vengeance. We deploy the sword of judgment of God. Let it strike. Let it strike. Let it strike. Let the sword of God strike, smite, slay your adversaries, slay your enemies, slay any witch, slay any wizard, slay any strong man, slay every demonic entity that want to harm you, that want to kill you, that want to destroy you. Let the sword of judgment, let the sword of vengeance, let the sword of judgment, let the sword of vengeance be deployed, be deployed, be deployed into the camp of your enemies. Let it massacre them. Let it butcher them. Let it cut them into pieces. Let it let it cut them. Let it cut them. Let it cut them. Let it cut off the heads of every python. Let it cut off the head of every wizard. In the name of Jesus, we deploy the sword against every strong, stubborn man, strong woman, every agent who wish you dead, who want to drink up your flesh, who want to drink your blood and eat up your flesh. We deploy the sword. We deploy the sword. I release the sword. Let the angel of the Lord draw their sword. Chase your enemies. Smite them. Slay them. And as they begin to run, let their ways become darkened. And let them begin to become slippery. And let them, let the sword of God slay them. Let there be a crying, wailing in the camp of your enemies. Those who wish to destroy you. Before the end of this year, before the end of this month, may they perish and may you see the salvation of the Lord. What we just did, there's a serious battle going on on your behalf. There's a serious battle. Some people will drop dead if they wish you dead. Some people will be destroyed if they wish you destroyed. Some people will be wasted if they wanted you to be wasted. Some people will be frustrated if they were frustrating your life. We deploy 
the sword of judgment against our adversaries, against every witch, wizard, agent of darkness, sorcerer, prognosticate, uh, prognosticator, any enchanter, any spiritual religious manipulator, any stargazer, any necromancer, any soothsayer, any enchanter, anyone who has been practicing dark arts, black magic, using spells and charms and hexes and herbs and roots, crystal ball, and using all sort of diabolic elements to bewitch you, deploying the sun and the stars and the moon against you. May they be stricken by the sword of judgment. May they be smitten by the sword of judgment. May they be smitten by the sword of judgment. May they be smitten by the sword of judgment as they open their mouth to do incantation, conjuration, and cast spells and cast you. May they die suddenly. May sudden heart attack come upon them by the sword. May the sword of God pierce the heart of your enemies. May they be wasted in the name of Jesus. For the Lord will pass through the land and strike the Egyptians. May the Lord strike your enemies. May the Lord strike your enemies. May the Lord strike your enemies. Whoever is holding your soul in captive, may the Lord strike the demons that has captured your soul and place your soul in, the, in, in spiritual imprisonment. May the Lord strike anyone who is selling your soul in the spiritual market. Anybody who is placing your soul on an ocean. They are auctioning your soul, auctioning your soul for sale, soul for sale, for soul for sale. Who is going to buy this soul? And who is going to use this soul to sacrifice for this year? Whoever is auctioning out your soul in the spiritual market, may the Lord begin to deploy his angels and the sword of judgment, the sword of vengeance, the sword of judgment, the sword of vengeance. May the sword go in and massacre, slaughter, massacre, slaughter, massacre, slaughter to the soul buyers and the soul say, uh, sellers and whoever is guarding your soul in the cage or in prison. May the angel of the Lord strike them, smite them, destroy them and release your soul out of this demonic prison. You will not be counted amongst those who perish this year. You will not be wasted. You will not be destroyed. For the Lord will pass through the land to strike the Egyptians. Say this with me now. Amen. Whatever, whoever has turned you spiritually into an animal to be slaughtered, to be massacred, to be butchered at their temple, at their coven, at their evil altar, to sacrifice you, your soul will escape like a bird. You, your soul will not be caged. Amen. Your soul will not be held hostage. Amen. Your soul will not be imprisoned. Amen. Your soul will mount up on wings like eagle Thank and you, fly Jesus. away from the camp of your enemies. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father as I begin to pray, I begin let, to my pray. Soul let my soul escape, escape, escape. escape. premature death, premature escape, escape from the doomsday, on the doomsday. Escape, escape from every satanic appointment. From every satanic In the name of Jesus. In the name let my soul escape Let my soul as, escape. A bird, as a bird out of the snares, of the, snares of, the fowler, of the fowler in the name of Jesus. In the name as of I Jesus. begin to pray, begin let, to my pray. let my soul escape from escape. premature death. Begin to pray. Let my soul escape. Father, by your great power, cause my soul to escape. Cause my soul to escape. Cause my soul to escape. Cause someone to escape. Cause Sarah to escape. Cause someone to escape. Cause Sarah to escape. Cause Sonia to escape. Cause Esther to escape. I command your soul to escape. I command Zachariah to escape. I command you escape. You are escaping. You are escaping from every premature death. Your soul escape. Your soul escape. Your son escapes. Your daughter escapes. Your husband escapes. Your wife escapes. Your children are escaping. Your family members are escaping from premature death. In the name of Jesus, they shall not die. In the name of Jesus, they shall not die. In the name of Jesus, they shall not die. Eka paya, reka paya, zeke para, rapa pare, rapa para. Let our soul escape. Eka paliliya, rakata. Let my soul escape. Let my soul escape. Every attack of premature death, premature death, untimely death, unnatural death, mysterious death, death by witches, death by artists, death by my haters. Bed by courtist, Father, cause my soul to escape. Cause my wife to escape. Cause my children to escape. Cause my family to escape. Let our soul escape. Your soul is escaping. By fire, by thunder. Your soul is escaping. 
by fire, by thunder, by the great power of the mighty God. Your soul escapes. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare and decree. I declare that, my decree. Soul escapes. that my soul escapes. 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 I will not die. I, will not die. I, cannot die. I cannot die. I refuse to be sacrificed. I refuse to be, refuse to be wasted. I refuse to be in, the Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So now Psalm 16 verse 8 says. So Psalm 116. One what? 116 verse 8. Yeah. Psalm 116 verse 8. For you have delivered my soul from death. You have delivered my soul from death. My eyes from tears. My eyes from tears. And my feet from falling. And my feet from falling. When you pray this prayer, the Lord is going to cause your soul to escape death so that there will be no crying. Somebody, they are waiting to mourn your death. They are waiting to come to your funeral. They are waiting for you to fall into six feet down buried. But God says that he's going to cause your soul, your soul is going to be delivered from death, yes. your eyes from tears. You will not cry over your son or daughter Amen. dying prematurely. Amen. You will not bury Amen. your son. You will not bury your daughter. Amen. You will not bury your family members. Amen. We don't have time to bury people this year. Amen. COVID will not take your son. Sickness Amen. will not take your son. Amen. Witches cannot eat your flesh and their bl her blood. So he says that, for you have delivered my soul from death. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, deliver my soul, deliver my soul, and that of my loved ones, and that of my loved from ones, the spirit of death, from the spirit of death, premature death, premature death, unnatural death, unnatural accidental death, death, accidental death, death through accident, death through accident, death through sickness, death through sickness, death through evil arrows. That true evil in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Deliver my ear, my eyes. Deliver my eyes. From tears. From tears. Sorrows. Sorrow, and mourning. And mourning. Deceased family members. From deceased family members. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And my feet. And my feet from falling, from falling into the trust of my enemies. Into the trust of my enemies. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I want name. you to take your Bible and you're going to pray that prayer. That Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray deliver my soul from death my eyes from tears and my feet from falling into the traps of premature death in the name of jesus say heavenly father, heavenly father as, I begin to pray, as i begin to pray deliver my soul deliver my from the soul, spirit of premature death from, the spirit of from premature my eyes death, from tears from my eyes from and my tears, feet from falling into the pit of my enemies and my feet from falling into the pit of begin my to pray that prayer in the name of jesus and receive deliverance receive deliverance I prophesy this scripture into my life, into your life, into your family. Oh God of Abraham, oh God of Isaac, oh God of Jacob, by your great power, by your great power, by your sovereign power, deliver Zachariah, deliver Sonia, Sarah Samuel, deliver Esther, deliver me. May the Lord deliver you from your soul, from premature death, untimely death, mysterious death, accidental death. Lord, deliver me. Lord, deliver us from premature death. Our eyes from tears, our eyes from grieving, sorrow, mourning, rape, shut up, and our feet from falling into the pit of death. Hey, kapaya dabada. Rekapapalebe, rekapalebe, rekatatatata, rakatata, 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 rekatata, rakatata, rekatata, rakatata, rekatata, repatata, zeketata, rapata, repata, repata, rapata, repashata, rabata, zegereboshata, rekata, rabashata. Deliver my eyes from tears. Deliver my eyes from tears. Deliver my eyes from tears. Deliver my feet from falling. Deliver my foot me from falling in the name of Jesus from the pit of death. Deliver my soul from death in the name of Jesus. I declare over your life. I declare over your son. I declare over your daughter. I declare over your husband. I declare over your family. You shall not die. You shall not die. But you shall live in the name of Jesus. By the great power of God. Say by the great power of God. By the great power of God. My life is preserved. My life is my preserved. My soul is preserved. My soul is my preserved. Family is preserved. My family is preserved. From premature death. From premature death. And after you pray this prayer, this is the testimony. Okay. Psalms 116, verse 3. Psalm 116, verse 3. No, let's read. Psalm 116. 
Psalms, yeah, Psalms 116. Okay, the pains of death surrounded me, and the page of Shaw lay hold of me. I found trouble and sorrow. Amen. When you read, read verse 8 again. For you have delivered my soul from death, for my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. Verse 9. Oh, read verse 9. Verse 9. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk what? Before. I will walk before the Lord. In the what? In the land of the living. I'm not going to walk in the land of the dead. No, 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 no. I'm not ready to go and join the land of the dead. So I'll walk before the Lord in the land of what? The living. Meaning I shall not die, but I'll be among the living. This year I'll be living. Next year I'll be living. 10 years from now I'll be living. 20 years from now I'll be living. 30 years from now I'll be living. For after 40 years, then I'll be ready to retire. I'll walk before the Lord in the, in land, the land of, of the, the living. living. I'm not going to be walking in the land of the dead. I'll not be joining prematurely those in the obituary or those who will be buried. You are going to pray. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. By your great power. By your great power. I shall not die. I shall not die. I shall live. I shall live. And declare. And declare. Your wonderful works. The wonderful works. In the land of the living. In the land of the I'll living. I will walk before you. I will walk before in you. In the land of the living. In the land so of the living. So, Heavenly Father. So heavenly Father, cause me, O God, cause me, o to God, walk before you, to walk before in the land of the living, in the land of not the living. land of the dead. Not, not in the land of the preserve dead. my life, preserve my to life. walk in the land of the living. To walk in the land of the Begin living. to pray that prayer. Heavenly Father, Heavenly preserve Father. me to walk in the land of the living. Preserve my life by your great power. Preserve my life. Preserve my life. Preserve my life to walk before you in the land of the living, not the land of the dead. Preserve, 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 protect, deliver my soul. The Zuparaka, Rabam Vazukata, Sege Karatus Kata Veska, Rekatari Katuska, Pele Faroskata, Beze Talaba Antu, Beka Paraka Parakata, Raparaba Sukabande, Epando Zede Rebo Shataraba, Palosi Nalaba Sheke, Kabando Zikeleba Sata, Mantale Katuni Mikata, Rapalebe Sunabrane Katea Daba, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Every death warrant. Every death warrant. On my life. On my life. Every death, death wish. Every death wish. On my life. On my life. Any death curse. Any death curse. On my life. On my life. Every death spells. Every death Spell. Cast on me. Cast on me. Right now. Right now. Let it break. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Let it Jesus. break off me. Let it break. Let it break off me. Let it break. Let it break off me. Let it break. Every spirit of death. Every spirit of death. Assigned against me. Assigned against I command you. I command. Loose me and let me go. Loose me and let me go. Let me go. Let me go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every curse. Every curse. Of premature death. Generational curse. Of premature death, every altar of death against me, in the name of Jesus, I command your hold on me to break, 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 break of me, in Jesus' name, say right now. Right now, as I begin to breathe out, as I begin to breathe let out, every curse of death, let every curse of death hanging over my life, hanging over my life, any demon of, of, of casket, any demon of casket, any demon of skeleton, any demon of skeleton that has been released into my life, that has been released into my I life. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind you in the name and of I Jesus. And I cast you out of my life. And I cast you. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind you in the and name I of cast Jesus. you out of my life. And I cast you. Come out of me in Jesus' name. Come out of. Come out of me in Jesus' name. Come out of me in Jesus' name. Come out of you spirit of death. You spirit I bind you in Jesus' name. I cast you out of my life. I cast you out of my life. Any sickness projected into my body. Projected into my Any poison injected into my body. Projected to cause me to die. 
to cause me to die. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to breathe out. As I begin to breathe out. Let that sickness. Let that sickness. Let that evil arrow. Let that evil let arrow. That curse, let that curse. Let that curse. Break off me. Break off and me. And come out. And come out. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Simple as that exercise. I'm going to command every spirit of death through sickness, through poison, through spells mm -hmm. on you to break and come out. To break and come out. Some of you will be vomiting, coughing, spitting blood, whatever it is, it's coming out. The spirit of skeleton is jumping out of you. And you shall receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. All you are going to do is to breathe out in the name of Jesus. As you breathe in, you are breathing in the life of Christ. And as you breathe out, let that spirit of death say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I breathe in, as I breathe in, I breathe in. I breathe in the breath of life. The breath of life. As I breathe out. As I breathe let out. Let anything dead. Let anything every dead. spirit of death. Any sp spirit of death. Get out of me. Get out of get me. Get out of me. Get out of in me. the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You cannot stay in my body anymore. You cannot stay in my body. You cannot drag me to the graves anymore. You cannot drag me to the graves. As I anymore. breathe out. As I breathe out. Come out of me. Come out of in me. the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now begin to breathe out. Just breathe out. You breathe in. And you breathe out. You breathe in and you breathe out. And I'm just going to command every spirit of death to break off you. In the name of Jesus. As you begin to breathe out. As you breathe in and you are breathing out. I command every spell. Every spell. Every curse. Every curse of death. Every sickness. Every poison in your body. That has been released to cause you to die prematurely this year. In the name of Jesus. Break and come out. Break and come out. Yes, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, cough out, breathe out, cough out. If you feel like coughing, cough it out. If you feel like coughing, cough it out. If you feel like vomiting, if you feel like sneezing, yawning, whatever it says, the power of God is touching you right now. The spirit of death is breaking off you now. I command the spirit of death, break and go, break and go, break and go, break and go, break and go in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, by the great power 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 of Jesus, I command the spirit of death out of your body, out of your soul, out of your body, out of your life, out of your life, out of your life, out of your life. I lose your soul. I lose your life. I lose your soul. I lose your soul. I lose your soul. I lose your soul from every spiritual prison, from every spiritual cage, from every spiritual animal. I command your release. I command your loose. Release now. Break and come out. Yes, cough it out. Cough it out. Cough it out in the name of Jesus. You are receiving a deliverance. Now, you are receiving your deliverance from that spirit of death. Every sickness planted in your body to cause you to die prematurely. Any evil arrow that has been shot to you to cause you to die prematurely. Whoever has been shot in the spirit realm to die prematurely. Whoever has been poisoned through food or water. To die prematurely. Whoever your enemies have dug a pit to cause you to die. Whoever has been bound, you spiritually they have tied you up. Spiritually they have tied you up as an animal to be slaughtered this month in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the great power. By the great power. By the great power. I release you. I release you. I release you. Let the angel of God minister deliverance. Let the angel of God minister deliverance and loose you. And loose you from the cage, from the pit, from the prison, from the cage. In the name of Jesus. Be loose from the powers of darkness. Come out in Jesus' name. Yes. Cough it out. Cough it out. You spirit of death. Come out in Jesus' name. You spirit of death. Come out in Jesus' name. You spirit of skeleton. Come out in Jesus' name. You spirit of distressing. Come out in Jesus' name. Yes. Cough it out. Cough it out. And receive your deliverance. Cough it out. Cough it out. In the name of Jesus. 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 I break the curse of death. I break the curse of death. I break the yoke of death. I break the yoke of death. I break the spell of death. I break the spell of death. Every death wish, I reverse it. Every death wish, I cancel it. In the name of Jesus. Every generational curse on your life. Break and go. Break and come out. Break and go. Break and come out. Yes. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Yes, cough it out. Cough it out. Cough it out. Cough it out. Yes, cough it out. Cough it out. Breathe in. And yes, keep on breathing out. Keep on breathing out. Break and go in Jesus' name. Break and go in Jesus' name. Receive your deliverance. Loose her in the name of Jesus. Every spell. Break every spell. Break every charm. Break every witchcraft. Break every witchcraft. Break every witchcraft. Break every witchcraft. Break every demon. Out in Jesus' name. Out. Spirit of death. Out in Jesus' name. Cough out and go. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, by the great power of God, your soul is preserved. Your soul is preserved. Your body is preserved. Your health is preserved. Your children are preserved. Your family is preserved. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die by the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Receive the spirit of life. Receive the spirit of life. Receive the spirit of life. Receive the spirit of health. You receive the spirit of long life. In the name of Jesus, let the sick be healed. Let those who are appointed to die. I cancel every demonic appointment. I cancel every witchcraft appointment. I cancel every family appointment. I cancel the appointment of your enemies over your life. In the name of Jesus, break! In the name of Jesus, break! In the name of Jesus, break and go. Yes, 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 you are free. Yes, keep on coughing it out. Keep on breathing, keep on coughing. Something is happening. Yes, the power of God is all over you. Somebody, the power of God is all over you. You are spitting, you are vomiting, you are coughing. You are manifesting, you are vomiting blood. Things are coming out of you. Things are coming out of you. Every poison in your body. Any poison in your system. Any poison through food. Anybody who wanted to poison you, they poison you spiritually by a food you ate. And that food has become a deadly poison in your body. It is coming out. 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 Fire of the Holy Ghost. Flash it out. Flash it out. Flash it out. Every sickness hiding in your body. Come out by fire. Every sickness of death lying in your body. Cancer cells. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Every sickness of death. Out in Jesus' name. Every satanic traps to take you out. Come out in Jesus' name. You shall not die. You will not die. In the name of Jesus, receive life. Long life. Good health. In the name of Jesus. Yes, somebody. Keep on coughing. Keep on vomiting. You feel like burping. You feel snoring. Whatever it is, the power of God is all over you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the great power. By the great power. By the great power. I crush the spirit of death. I crush the spirit of death. In the name of Jesus. I crush the spirit of death. By the blood of Jesus. I crush the spirit of death. By the great power of God. I set the counties free. I set the counties free. I set you free. In the name of Jesus. Be loose. Be free. Be delivered. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Yes, yes, yes. Keep on coughing out. Keep on coughing out. Keep on vomiting it out. Keep on burping. Whatever sickness is in your body, which is meant for death, is coming out. It's 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 coming out. By fire. By thunder. By fire. By thunder. By fire. By thunder. By fire. By thunder. By fire. In the name of Jesus. By the great power of God. By the great power of God. Be delivered from the witch's hands. They shall not eat up your flesh. They shall not eat up your flesh. They shall not drink your blood. They shall not eat up your flesh. They shall not eat your son. They shall not eat your daughter. They shall not eat your family members. They shall not eat up your flesh. They shall not drink your blood. They command, I command them to vomit your blood, to vomit your flesh, to vomit your blood, to vomit your soul, to vomit your blood, to vomit your soul, to vomit your soul. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive your delivery. Receive your deliverance. Receive your healing. Receive your recovery. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. It is finished. It is done. It is done. It is done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are, you are healed. You are delivered. You shall not die. Now, I want you to confess that in Jesus' name, in Jesus by the name. great power of God, by the grace power of God. I shall walk before the Lord. I shall walk before the in the Lord. land of the living. In the land of the living. I shall walk before the Lord. I shall walk before in the Lord. land of the living. In the land of the living. I shall walk before the Lord. I shall walk before the Lord. In the land of the living. In the land of the living. I declare and decree. I declare and decree. I shall not die. I shall not die. I will live. I will live. And declare. And declare. The wonderful works of the Lord. The wonderful works of the Lord. In the land of the living. In the land of the living. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I thank you. I thank you. That by your great power, by your great you power, have delivered my soul, delivered my soul from, death, from death, my eyes, my eyes from, tears, from tears, and my feet, and my feet from, falling. from falling. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord for causing my soul for causing my soul to escape, to escape premature, death, premature death as a bird, as a bird out, of the snare out of the snare of the fowler. Of the fowler. Thank, you thank you that the snare that the, snake, the, trap the trap of my enemies of my enemy have broken, broken has caught fire caught and burned into ashes. Thank ashes. you, Lord, 
Thank you, Lord. For long life. Long life. And good health. And good health. I give you all the praise. I give you all the praise. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God. We bless God. We give him all the praise. We give him all the honor. We give him all the adoration. This is how far Ebenezer the Lord has brought us. And we are thankful for ministering deliverance to us. Amen. The fasting continues tomorrow from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And tomorrow is Sunday. We are not meeting. Our next meeting is on Monday. So join us on Monday, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S., 4 a.m. London, 5 a.m., Europe, um, 2 p.m. Australia, 8 a.m. Um, India. And let us continue with the fast. Um, and let's continue to pray. So tomorrow our scripture reading is Joshua chapter 2. Joshua chapter 2. If you have a home church, I encourage you to go to church. Uh, if you are doing online, then you do so and also have fellowship with your children. Have fellowship with your children. Read the Bible together and study the scriptures and get yourself involved with your home church in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, the Bible says that when an unclean spirit is cast out of a person, he goes lingering around. If he doesn't have any place, you'll come back. The only way you can maintain your deliverance is to stay at the feet of Jesus. Make sure you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Make sure you have accepted him into your life as your Lord and personal Savior. And make sure that you are reading the word of God, you are living a holy life, and you are also serving the Lord. And you are also asking the Lord to fill you constantly with the Holy Spirit. That's how you are always on fire and the enemy cannot come in to steal, to kill and destroy. So if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, then I admonish you to accept him right now. All you have to do is say, Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my life and forgive me of all my sins. Lord Jesus, I accept you into my life as my Lord and personal Savior. From today, I totally and completely yield my life to you. Be my Lord and be my Savior. Amen. And this simple prayer you make and also make sure you get your Bible and also start reading the scriptures and find a home church. And that is it. The Lord will guide you and help you to walk in his righteousness in Jesus' mighty name. Continually pray for the Holy Spirit to come upon you so that you have power to walk as a Christian. And also make sure you take your Bible study seriously. That's what right now we are reading Joshua chapter 2. So join us as we read uh, the, the scriptures. Our scripture reading for tomorrow is Joshua chapter 2. That is tomorrow and Monday will be Joshua chapter 3. Monday will be Joshua chapter 3. Do these things and get yourself connected, consistent with a uh, prayer line and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank him. We give him all the praise. Amen. For the books, the book we are using right now is Touch Not My Anointed. Um, Touch Not My Anointed. If you go to our website, you'll find it. Touch Not My Anointed. That's the deliverance material we are using now to how to walk in the power and the glory of God. Touch Not My Anointed. It's a very powerful book that will help you walk in the power of God so that this spirit of death and distractions cannot have power by you. You can get it on our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. The title is, Touch Not My Anointed. Touch Not My Anointed. When you walk in the anointing of God, you cannot be wasted. You cannot be killed prematurely in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. For any offering, any donation, any sacrifices, you can donate through the website, www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com If it's cash up, it's Fresh Fire Prayer. One word, Fresh Fire Prayer. We give glory and honor to God for how far He's brought us and we give Him all the praise. We give Him all the honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Uh, we will take one or two testimonies. Just one or two testimonies. So if the Lord has done anything for you and you want to testify, the Father in the name of your son Jesus. Of your son Jesus. Any, evil any evil report. Any bad news. Any bad news. Any negative news. Any negative news. That has been released. That has been released. In the spiritual realm. In the spiritual realm. To manifest. To manifest. In my life. In my life. 
on the earthly realm. In the earthly realm. Today, today, I stand, I stand in, prayer in prayer to intervene, to intervene intercept, to intercept and, interfere. and interfere. I overturn. I overturn. I override. I override. And cancel, and cancel by, the Jesus, by the blood of Jesus that negative news that negative in the name of Jesus. In the name of I, block it, I block it. I stop it. I, stop it, I, halt, it, I halt it from manifesting, from manifesting in, my life, in my life in Jesus' name. In Jesus it, shall not stand, it shall not stand. It shall not prosper, shall not prosper in, my in my life. Every bad report. Every, bad every report, negative news. Every negative any news, bad incident. Any bad incident anyone Anyone who want me to cry? Who want me to weep? Waiting for my downfall. Waiting for my demise. Waiting for mischief. Misfortune. Calamity. Tragedy. To befall me. So that they laugh at me. Father, I send back their evil report. Back to the senders. Back to the senders. I reject it. I refuse it. I block it. I, block it. I, prohibit, it I prohibit it from manifesting, from manifesting in my life and my, life, my, family, my family in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. One day, how many of you can take one day such news? You will commit suicide. You, you will kill yourself because then the devil will let you know your living now is, is nothing because everything you love, everything you, is so dear to you has been attacked. And that's what the devil is doing during this season. We are in the red zone. The year is coming to an end. The devil knows that everything that he must accomplish before the end of the year is releasing demons, he's releasing witches, he's releasing arrows, he's releasing spells, he's releasing charms, he's cursing people's lives, he's cursing people's marriage. So much people's health are under attack. So much people's health are under attack. So much people's lives are under attack. So much marriages are under attack. Relationships are under attack. So many people's jobs. As I'm talking to you, people are losing their jobs left and right. And the devil is also using the COVID uh, mandate vaccine to also use it against people big time to cause them to lose their jobs. The devil is uh, everywhere you turn. It is crazy now. I'm telling you the truth. You got to pray. You, you got to pray. The only antidote to this craziness is prayer. The only antidote to this craziness is prayer. That's what the Bible says in James chapter 5 verse 13. Is anyone distressed? Is anyone troubled? Is anyone under attack? Is anyone suffering? Is anyone in any form of difficulties? Let them pray. Let them pray. I said, I'm a human being. There's limit, limit I can do for you, but I can lead you to Jesus. I can show you the way. If you apply the principles, you will come out. You will come out of every situation. You will come out. It doesn't matter. You go through the waters. You go through the fire. You go through the valley of the shadows of death. They will release fire, thunder, whatever to you, but you survive it all. Why? Because you are a praying Christian. You pray and you hold on to the altar of God. And that's what David says, that though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil. Bring it on. Satan, bring it on. Demons, bring it on. Bring on the bad news. But it, I will shake it off because I trust that the God that I serve will make me unstoppable, will make me unmovable, will make me unconquerable, will make me indestructible. They will do everything, but they cannot break me. They cannot stop me. They cannot conquer me. They cannot... I, I become untouchable. Why? Because... I am a man of prayer. You are a woman of prayer. And you know how to cry out to God. And the Bible says that a righteous man or woman will go through many attacks. But the Lord delivers them from them all. Meaning if only I can open my mouth and pray. The Lord will deliver me. Whatever negative news. Whatever bad report. Whatever satanic verdict. Whatever judgment. Whatever accusation. Whatever slandering. Whatever lies, whatever gossip, whatever they are saying to smear my name, 
whatever betrayal, whatever attacks at my job, attacks on my son, attacks on my daughter, attacks on my health, attacks on my finances, attacks on my marriage, whatever attacks spiritually, they will never be able to overcome me because God has made me more than a conqueror. For the Bible says that greater is Jesus, greater is the Holy Ghost that is in, in us than that which is coming from outside. And the Bible says that God has made us more than conquerors. Through Christ Jesus, we are more than victorious. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Let every satanic news, satanic evil report, satanic demonic mischief, every satanic misfortune, any calamity, any peril, any evil attack or arrow, and any satanic snare that has been released to come to you and cause you to hear with your ears a news that will disturb you and destabilize you. May the Lord block it. May the Lord deliver you from such evil reports. You are going to lift up your voice and pray. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, deliver me from every evil report. Deliver me from every bad news. Deliver me from any calamity, any misfortune that has been programmed for me in the name of Jesus. As I pray, I cancel it. I cancel it. Somebody, they are coming for your husband. They are coming for your son. They are coming for your daughter. They are coming for your marriage. They are coming for your finances. They are coming for your health. They are coming for your investment. They are coming for your property. Begin to pray that, Father, as I lift up my voice in prayer, I overturn, I override, I cancel, I negate every satanic news by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I block it, I prohibit it, I stop it before it even comes close to me. For the Bible says that no evil shall come near your dwelling place. No evil shall come near you or your dwelling place. Only with your eyes will you see the reward of the wicked because we dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I refuse to be diagnosed with cancer. I refuse to be diagnosed with COVID. I refuse to die prematurely. I refuse to be engaged in an accident. I refuse to end up in divorce. I refuse to hear any bad news I re from my family members. I refuse to hear any evil report. I cancel all this bad news and I declare in the name of Jesus that it shall not stand, it shall not prosper. I will not have any legal issues. I will not have any court case. I will not have any son or daughter ending up in prison. I will not end uh, see any of my children or family members rush into the emergency care unit. None of my family members will die this season. None of them will die this year. You begin to pray and cancel out every attack at my workplace. I declare and decree that I will not lose my job. I will not lose my position. I will not lose my benefit. In the name of Jesus, every satanic news, every evil report, every evil agenda against me, every satanic news, bad report, evil report, anything that has been orchestrated against me, in the name of Jesus, I cancel it. Begin to pray that I cancel it in Jesus' name and I cancel the blood of Jesus. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. I cancel every evil report. I cancel every bad report, every premature death, any sickness, any sudden death, any satanic attacks on my marriage, satanic attacks on my health, satanic attacks on my finances, satanic attacks on my children, my husband, my wife, anything they have planned against me to bring pain, sadness, sorrow, mischief, calamity, tragedy. Let it be canceled. Let the plans of the enemy to bring bad news around me be canceled in Jesus' name. Be canceled in Jesus' name. Be canceled. Cancel it in the name of Jesus. By the blood, by the blood, by the blood, by the blood, I cancel every bad report. I cancel negative news. I cancel bad reports. I cancel negative news. I cancel bad reports by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against us shall ever prosper. No weapon. Every evil accusation. 
every evil verdict, every evil judgment, every evil charges, every evil counsel, every evil condemnation, whatever has been planned, circulating in the spiritual realm, to be handed over to us in the earthly realm, to bring sadness, sorrow, hurt, pain, grievances. Oh, Pala Kapan Telebo Sata. Be by the blood of Jesus, I cancel it, I cancel it over my life, over my daughter, over my husband, over my sons, over my wife, over my marriage, over my finances, over your finances, finances over your children. Let it be canceled. We cancel bad reports. We cancel evil reports. We cancel bad news. We cancel evil charges. We cancel every condemnation, any evil verdict, satanic plans, satanic plots, demonic agenda. Be canceled by the blood. Sudden death. Unexplained death, premature death, unnatural death. Hey, we cancel in the name of Jesus. Any accident, any emergency cases, any court cases, any loss of property, loss of lives, loss of cars, loss of homes, loss of jobs, be canceled. Be canceled. You will not lose your son. You will not lose your daughter. You will not lose your husband. You will not lose your wife. You will not lose your brothers. You will not lose your parents. You will not lose your inheritance to the devil the devil who comes to steal to kill and to destroy i rebuke that devil i rebuke that demon i rebuke that witch i rebuke that wizard in the name of jesus we block we prohibit we stop we abort every satanic bad report in the name of jesus i override i overrule i overturn by the blood of jesus in the name of jesus every evil report and i declare that it shall not stand it shall not prosper it shall not stand it shall not prosper it shall not stand it shall not prosper satanic sickness back to sender demonic arrows back to sender satanic gunshots back to sender makataya rekataka zekelebo shata raparaba every spell back to sender every charm back to sender every curses back to sender every demonic devices back to sender every evil attacks from the pit of hell from my mother's house from my father's house back to send them evil dreams back to send them satanic orchestration satanic conspiracy satanic plots and plans and collaboration i send them back to the sender let my enemies experience their own mischief in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we stop every bad news. We block every bad news. You will not hear any negative report during this season. Every negative report of defeat, failure, every negative report of loss of items and properties and loved ones, premature death, accident, all these nonsense things from the pit of hell, we block it. We stop it. We declare that it shall not stand. Say it shall not stand. It shall not prosper. It shall not stand. It shall not prosper. It shall not stand. It shall not prosper. In Jesus' name. Please, somebody, you don't know why God is leading us for the last two days to be praying this prayer. Because as you are planning to have festivity, somebody is planning to make you to weep, to cry, to be sorrowful. To be crying. Don't allow yourself to be cheated God's blessing because of spiritual laziness. Don't allow your enemies to have their way at your expense. Pray and the Lord will deliver you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. amen. I pray that may the preservation power of God, the preservation grace in the blood of Jesus the preservation grace in the blood of Jesus. May it come over upon you, come upon your sons and daughters, your spouse, your husband, your wife, and your family, and preserve you from all evil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. Amen. Um, tomorrow's scripture reads so because there are certain battles, certain challenges, certain storms, certain attacks that God allows in our lives god himself allows it it doesn't matter how much you pray how much you fast how much you give how much you do warfare you must go through it so david says yeah do i walk through the valley of the shadow yeah do yeah do i walk through you must go through it you, you have to go through it because for you to be promoted you must pass a test 
A child doesn't move from grade one to grade two, from sixth grade to seventh grade, eighth grade, just by promotion. No, there is what a promotional test and you must be examined. You must take a test and you must pass the test to you for you to go to the next level. And some of you, you've come to the place where God is about to take you to the next level, to the next height, to the next altitude, for, for you to receive promotion and elevation. But it must come with what? A testing. So God allows some testing to come into your life. It doesn't matter how much you bind, how much you cast out, how much you do warfare. If you must go through it, you must go through it. And that's what the Bible says, that a righteous man or woman may go through many trials, many challenges, but God delivers them from them all. So David says that, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I fear no evil for thou art with me. So during that time, precious one, what you need is grace. It is not binding and loosening, grace. It is not fasting and it is grace because you must go through it. And some of us are going through situations in our marriages. Yes, you must go through it. And you must pray for grace. Lord, give me grace to endure. Give me grace to endure until the end so that I come out victorious. Some of you are going through storms at your workplace, but you must endure. You are enduring hostility. You are enduring backstabbing. You are enduring blackmailing. You are enduring people lying against you in your own marriage. You are enduring family members pointing fingers at you, accusing you falsely, mistreating you, misconstruing your ways. And, and you are wondering, Lord, what is going on? You are fasting. You are praying. You are giving. You are binding. You are loosing. You've bound all the boundables. You've loosed all the loosables. You've done every warfare. You have nothing is changing because it's a process that must bring you a divine product and therefore you must go through it jesus christ knew that he had to go to the cross and he says that father how i wish i could escape this trial this persecution this challenge nevertheless nevertheless not my will but your will be done he still went through he still jesus still had to went, go through the process of being put to shame uh, naked dead uh, and beaten spat on ridiculed reproached shamed on the cross naked he had to go through it and after that the bible says that and god has given him a name which is above every name at the mention of the name jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that jesus is lord after passing the test there was promotion even daniel had to go through it People rose up against him, began to attack him. God did not spare him from the lion's den. He was pushed into the lion's den, but God's grace was sufficient for him. And in the midst of the lion's den, God came and shut the lion's den mouths and God brought him out. And after that, he was what? Promoted. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the same way they could not, God did not prevent them from going to the fire. But his grace was with them in the midst of the fire. So the fire could not consume them. They came out and they were also elevated. They were also promoted. They were also experienced ascension. Somebody, it is your time to be promoted. It is your time for elevation. It is your time to move on to the next level. But you must pass this test. So whatever challenges, whatever attacks, whatever struggle, whatever persecution, whatever challenges you are going through, all you got to say is, Lord, grant me grace so I don't quit. Grant me grace so I don't give up. Grant me grace so I can endure to the end. The victory and the trophy is given to those who endure to the end, not the quitters, not those who quit, not those who give up. So you are going to pray that, Father, let your grace, let your grace. I don't know what you are going through, but the grace of God. Oh, sometimes you can uh, go through some physical affliction. You are sick, you are praying, you are binding, you are casting out, and the sickness refuses to go. And God is in heaven watching you because he knows that you have to go through it. After that, you will come in and heal you and restore you. But, but you've been binding and casting and the sickness doesn't want to go. You are going through some difficulties of uh, rejection and disappointment. You do everything, nothing is changing. God is watching to see whether you will pass the test, the test of faith, the test of hoping in him, the test of trusting in him, the test of still depending on him to the end. The victory lies on those who hold on to the promise to the end and you have to pray for grace. So here Paul says, God says to Paul, my grace is sufficient for you my strength is made perfect in your weakness my strength is made perfect in your weakness i pray for somebody that as you are praying for the holy ghost you are praying for the anointing of god you are praying for the strength of god may god's grace be sufficient for you for you to endure unto victory is won 
for you to endure until you overcome, for you to endure until you emerge victorious, for you to endure until Jesus Christ gives you victory over your problems, your enemies, your adversaries, and your, your, your limitation. May the Lord's grace be sufficient for you. So now Paul says that, therefore, therefore, most gladly I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. May the power of Jesus, may the power of Jesus rest upon you so that you can endure, you can outlast your enemies and outlive your enemies and outlast your problem. May the grace of God abound in you. May the strength of God, the hand of God, the power of God come upon you so that you don't quit, you don't give up. You don't allow your enemies to, to cause you to quit and to be discouraged about your dreams and visions and God's purpose for your life. Then Paul comes better to say, therefore, I take pleasure in my infirmities. You can be under attack in my infirmities, in my distress. Some of you are going through distress in marriage, distress, financial distress, distress with your education, distress with your job, distress with your health, distress with your son, your daughter. Things are not going all right. Things are on hold. Challenges, battles are going on. But it's all for a purpose because after this, there's going to be an elevation this month. There's going to be a promotion this week. Somebody, a big blessing is coming your way. Heavens are being opened. Doors are about to be opened. And gates of blessing is being opened. So you need the grace of God. Therefore, I take pleasure in my infirmities, in reproach, in need, in need, in need. Are some of us not in need? You are in need of healing and it's not coming. You are in need of marriage and the husband is not showing up. You are in need of deliverance and it seems as though God is not delivering you from your enemies or your problem. You are in need of some financial breakthrough. You are in need of a job. You are in need of some favors. You are in need of some contracts. You are in need of some something and you are still in need. And God will be watching you quietly, watching whether you will pass this test. I prophesy to you that in the name of Jesus Christ, no more will you fail this test. Some of us, the reason why we haven't moved to the next level, because we keep on failing. We keep, we keep on failing because we don't trust God. We keep on failing because we are discouraged. We keep on failing because we, we quit. We keep on failing because we, we, we lose heart. But this day... Grace is given to you for you not to fail these exams. You will pass these exams and you move on to the next level. You will pass this test and you move on to this level. It says that in need, in persecution, are people persecuting you in your own family? Are people persecuting you at your workplace? Are people persecuting you spiritually? They are going through persecution, but still your eyes is fixed on Jesus. You are not quitting your prayer. You are not quitting trusting God. You are not quitting in fasting. You are not quitting in serving the Lord. You are not quitting in good works. Even though there is persecution, slandering, blackmailing, negativity all around you, people are saying all sorts of things are against you. You keep your focus on Jesus in distress for Christ's sake. Then this is it. For when I am weak, then I am strong. For when I am weak, then I am strong. It is only God who is able to make people strong in their weakness. When you are so weak, you are so tired, you are so worn out, you are so bent out, you are so melt down, and you are saying that enough is enough, I can't take it anymore. When you are weak, then you are strong. Suddenly, a supernatural grace comes upon you to do the extraordinary because you depended on God. And that's what Paul says that God's, God was telling Paul, my grace, my grace is sufficient for you. Whatever challenge, whatever battles, whatever situation, whatever struggle, whatever challenges, whatever issue, whatever storms, whatever problem you are facing, grace is sufficient. We are going to pray, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, let your grace be sufficient for me. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your grace, O God, be sufficient for me. In Jesus' name, Lord, let your grace, let your grace be sufficient. Begin to lift up your voice and pray that the grace of God will be sufficient for you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, let your grace, let your grace. Pray for the grace. Pray for the grace. Pray for the grace. Ask the Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, let your grace be sufficient for me, even in my weakness, even in my weakness, even in my tiredness, even in my discouragement, even in my being bent down, exhausted. Oh God, let your grace be sufficient for me. 
Oh God, let your grace be sufficient for me. In my discouragement, let your grace. In my weakness, let your grace. Let your grace. Let your grace, 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 let Lord be gracious to me. Lord be gracious to us. Lord be gracious to me. Ask the Lord to be gracious to you. I pray that the Lord will be gracious to you today. May his grace be extended to you. May his grace be extended to you. May you not be a giver. May you not be overcome by evil. May you not be discouraged. May you not quit. May you not fail these exams. You will not fail this test. You will not fail this battle. You will not lose this battle. You shall not lose this battle. In the name of Jesus, you will you overcome. You will overcome. May the Lord's grace, let grace, let grace, let the grace of God abound. Let the grace of God be extended to you. The Lord shall not fail you. God will not disappoint you. God will not fail you. God will not disappoint you. God will come through for you. You will pass this exams. You will overcome this battle. You will emerge triumph. You will be victorious in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your grace, let your grace, let your grace, let your grace. For when I am weak, then I am strong. For when I am weak, then I am strong. For when you are weak, then you are strong. For when you are weak, then you are strong. I prophesy to you right now, let the weak receive strength. Let the weak receive strength. Let those who are weak receive divine strength. In the name of Jesus, receive divine strength. Receive divine strength to overcome. Receive divine strength to be a winner. Receive divine strength to be more than a conqueror. Receive divine strength to prevail. Receive the strength of God to be healed, to be delivered, to be emerge victorious over every situation. In the name of Jesus. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that has And the Lord said, My grace is sufficient for you. My grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. The Lord's grace is sufficient for you. The Lord's grace is sufficient for you to this morning. The Lord's grace is sufficient for you this afternoon. The Lord's grace is sufficient for you this evening. The Lord's grace is sufficient for you even right now. His strength is being made perfect in your weakness. Receive divine strength. Receive divine grace and strength. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. 
Somebody receive grace for this week. Receive grace for this week. Receive grace for this week. Receive grace for this month. May the grace of the Lord, may the grace of the Lord, may grace, may grace, may grace, may grace. Somebody you are going through some battles, the grace of God has been sufficient for you. Somebody you are under heavily under an attack. You are going through so much spiritual attack. May the grace of God be extended to you right now. May the grace of the Lord give you strength, give you strength to overcome every attack that you have come under. Somebody you are listening to me, you are severely under sickness. You are sick. Receive grace to receive health. Receive strength. Receive your health. Receive your healing. Somebody you are going through a marital problem. May the grace of the Lord be extended to you right now. Somebody you are facing some challenges at your workplace. May grace abound. May grace abound towards you in the name of Jesus. Somebody you have a court case. May grace be extended to you to give you victory. Somebody you are preparing for an exam. May the grace of the Lord come upon you. Somebody you are going through some heavy depression. Heavy depression and anxiety and fear. May God's grace abound to you. Somebody you are faced with some opposition, some hindrances, some challenges are going on right now in your life and you don't have solution to the problem. But today, the Lord Jesus is granting you grace. It's granting you grace. He's granting you grace. He's granting you grace. His strength is being made perfect in your weakness. And because of God's strength, it's because of God's grace, you are going to emerge victorious in the name of Jesus. Things are going to change in your favor. Things are going to be ruled in your favor. Receive grace. Receive grace. I want you to prophesy seven times that I receive grace in the name of Jesus. I receive grace. Prophesy to yourself that in the name of Jesus this morning, in the name of Jesus this afternoon, in the name of Jesus this evening, I receive grace to overcome. I receive grace to overcome. I receive grace. I receive grace to overcome. I receive grace to overcome. I receive grace. Prophesy. Prophesy to yourself. I receive the grace of God. I will overcome. I receive grace of God. I will overcome. I will pass this exams. I will pass this test. I will pass this trial. I will pass this attack. I will overcome. I receive the grace of God. This morning, this afternoon, this evening, I receive grace. 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 I receive grace, receive grace, I receive grace to overcome every unemployment. I receive grace to overcome every power, every spirit, every demon, every principality, every power, every sickness, every disease, every limitation, every curses, every bewitchment. I receive power to overcome. I receive grace to overcome every court case, every exams, every health issue. I receive grace, receive grace, receive grace, receive the grace of God to overcome. Receive grace to overcome. Baba, <laughs> 
The Lord will never fail you. The Lord will not fail you this week. Jesus will not fail you. His grace is sufficient for you. The Lord will not fail you in your valley moments, in your trials, in your tribulation. Whatever attacks you are going through, the Lord will not fail you. Jesus will come through for you. Jesus will make a way. Jesus, Jesus will open the door. Jesus will heal you. Jesus will deliver you. Jesus will give you solution. He will never fail you. Jesus will never fail us. Let your grace, O God, we pray for grace. We never grace your grace, your grace, your grace. We grace your grace, your grace, your grace. We grace. Jesus. I see grace. I see grace. I see grace. I see grace. I see the grace of God coming upon you. I see the grace of God lifting you up. I see the grace of God helping you to overcome even stronger enemies, stronger opponents. I see grace. I see grace. I see divine grace being extended to you to be able to win victories. I see grace coming upon you to overcome stronger enemies, opponents. I see grace being released to you to be victorious in everything that you are embarking on this month, this week, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of the living God, the grace, the grace, the grace. When we talk about grace, we are talking about God doing it for you. When we talk about grace, we talk about God himself. That's why he says that my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. You are weak, but God's grace is giving you strength. You are weak, but you are becoming victorious. You are weak, but you are overcoming. You are weak, but you are prevailing. You are weak, but you are breaking through. Why? Because grace, supernatural grace, it is God doing it for you. It is God fighting for you. It is God healing you. It is God Almighty delivering you from your enemies. It is God himself opening the door. It is God Almighty blessing you. It is the grace. It is the grace. Not about your... You are going to marry because of the grace. You are going to get the job because of the grace. You are going to pass the exams because of your grace. Your marriage is going to be restored because of your grace. The grace of God, not because of your prayers, not because of your righteousness or because of your hard work. It is the grace. It is the grace. Not because of the lawyer or the attorney. It is the grace of God going to cause you to win the court case. It is not about your resume, your, your degree, your PhD, your, uh, your, 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 your certificate and your licenses. It is the grace that is going to secure you that job. It is the grace that is going to help restore that marriage. It is the grace that is going to heal you from that sickness. It is the grace that is going to cause your enemies to fall before you and to come under your feet because God's grace, God's grace is sufficient for you in your weakness tonight. And therefore he comes back to say, for when I'm weak, then I am strong. Tonight, this morning, this evening, you are receiving strength. You are receiving strength to be an overcomer. You are receiving strength to prevail. You are receiving strength to to press on, to overcome every resistance, to overcome every opposition, to overcome every impediment, to overcome every challenges. You are receiving strength to go through the valleys of the shadows of death and come out victorious. The Bible says that when we go through the waters, it will not flood us. When we go through the fire, it will not consume us. Why? Because of his grace. Tonight, this morning, this evening, step into this week knowing that grace is sufficient for you. Face the giant. 
Face your problem. Face every challenge, knowing that grace is for, sufficient for you. Go for the interview with this confidence that grace is sufficient for you. Go to the court case, knowing that grace is sufficient for you. Go to work, knowing that grace is on your side. I want you to type, the grace of God is on my side. The grace of God is sufficient for me. Type it or prophesy it seven times. The grace of God is sufficient for me. 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 The grace Grace of God is sufficient for me. The grace of God is sufficient for me. The grace of God is sufficient for me. I will not die before my time. I will not be wasted. I will not be sacrificed by witches and wizards. The grace of God is sufficient for me. I will not die prematurely because of sickness, disease, cancer, diabetes, or evil arrows or satanic plot. The grace of God is sufficient for me. I will not fail. I will not be disgraced. I will not be humiliated because the grace of God is sufficient for me. I will not be indulged in an accident. I will not be destroyed by my enemies because no weapon formed against me shall ever prosper because God's grace, God's grace. So it doesn't matter what my enemies are planning or plotting or devising or projecting or expecting to before me. I will not be overcome by evil because the grace, the grace, the grace of God. It's not about my righteousness. It's not about myself. It's not about my behavior. It is God himself showing me grace. In my weakness, I'm so weak. I can't even pray. I'm so weak. I've even fallen. I've, I'm so weak. Nothing. I'm not even able to seek the Lord as by, by his grace. Tonight, we trust in the grace of God. Depend on the grace of God and you shall receive your miracle. You shall receive your healing. You shall receive your deliverance. You shall receive your breakthrough. This time, not by works, not by your might, not by your power, not by your intelligence, not by your connection, not by your certificate, not by your degree, not by your expertise, but by the grace. Say grace of God. Let the 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 grace of God be sufficient for me this month. Be sufficient for me this week. Be sufficient for me this week. This day, let the grace give me victory over my problems. In the name of Jesus, somebody, grace is on your side. Victory is on your side. In the name of Jesus, you're overcoming. Deep in my heart, We shall overcome. We shall overcome. I have overcome in the name of Jesus. I have overcome. This day. I do believe. I do believe. That we shall move Deep in my heart. I do believe. I am not singing, we shall overcome. I am singing, I have overcome. I have overcome today. Deep in my heart, I do believe that I have overcome today. I have overcome. I have overcome today. Deep in my heart. I do believe I have overcome right now. Now, today, grace has been released. It's sufficient for me. So I have overcome. I, 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 will not, I shall not. Right now. Right now you have overcome. 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 Right now you have overcome by the grace of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. We thank God. Tomorrow, 
tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is the 15th. There's a prophetic word that there's a release of a special blessing for the ministry. It came from a prophet, a special, unique blessing on the, for the ministry. So tomorrow, I will advise you on the 15th, do your best to fast. Do your best to fast and ask the Lord, Lord, let your grace be sufficient for me. Let your grace be sufficient for me and release into my life my blessing. There's a special blessing coming on the 15th. So I want you to join. If you have been lazy about it and you don't fast tomorrow, key in and fast and ask the Lord according to uh, the second Corinthians 12 verse 9. Lord, let your, let, your, let your grace, let your grace, let your grace, let your grace be sufficient for me. A grace is going to be released and a blessing is coming your way in the name of Jesus. So join us for the fast tomorrow from 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening. 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening. Fast tomorrow, fast tomorrow, fast tomorrow. Connect and ask the Lord for grace in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening and we'll be meeting at 11 p.m. Eastern Time for us 4 a.m for london 5 a.m for europe for those of you in uh, Haddock, uh west africa it is 4 a.m i think east africa is 5 a.m those of you who are in australia it's 1 p.m those of you in india it's about 9 or 10 a.m join us uh, for prayers and share share and also like and subscribe to our youtube facebook broadcast may god bless you I, I'm, I'm blessed by today's prophetic word you shall see the glory and the goodness of God. Grace has been given. I don't know what battle, what exams, what challenges, what court case, whatever you are going through, God's grace is sufficient. Our scripture for tomorrow is Mark chapter 15. Mark chapter 15. Mark chapter 15 is our scripture reading for tomorrow. May God richly bless you. And uh, for any information, go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. God richly bless each and every one of you who has been uh, blessing the ministry financially to support us to do what we do every month. May God richly bless you. Those of you who wish to do so can do so to support us through the website www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. And for Cash App, it's Fresh Fire Prayer. God richly bless you. And remember, you are walking by grace. Somebody, this interview, go walk in confidently that grace is for you, sufficient for you. You are going for any health, medical, forget about what the doctors and the lab cases or what they are trying to diagnose you. Know that the grace is sufficient for you. So no sickness that they want to put on you will ever prosper. Whether high blood pressure, whether diabetes, whether cancer, reject it and say God's grace is sufficient for me. It doesn't matter those who are trying to pull you down, tear you down, uh, fight to you at your workplace know that the grace of god is sufficient he says your my grace is sufficient for you in your weakness my strength is being made perfect it's also it's not about you it's not about your sins or your, your weakness or your it is god himself showing you grace 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 is not fair the person doesn't even deserve it and god will be protecting the person how come david is killing somebody taking the person's wife but because he had the grace of god god was still protecting him and God could still say, David is a man after my own heart. It is grace. I pray that you walk in the grace to receive divine favor. Walk in the grace for doors to open to you. Walk in divine favor for destiny helpers to help you and assist you to fulfill your dreams and vision. Don't depend on your strength. Don't depend on your, weak, uh, your wisdom. Don't depend on your ability and your skills, your certification and your decree. Depend on the grace. Even in warfare, it is not about how much we pray and fast and bind and loose. It is the grace of God himself fighting our battles for us, giving us victory over our enemies and our adversaries and giving us helping us to overcome tonight this morning this evening remember that god's grace is sufficient for you even in your weakness so i want you to say i am strong i am strong because of the grace i am blessed because of the grace i can do all things because of the grace i'm a winner man i'm a winner woman because of the grace of god i am going to fulfill my dreams and vision because of the grace not because of my weakness my inability my frailties not because of my inadequacies and my my, my incompetence it is the grace it is the grace it is the grace walk in the grace walk in the grace in the mighty name of jesus god bless you all see you tomorrow
stabilized in your favor. Things are going to be ruled in your favor. Things are going to be finalized. There are decisions that is going on, deliberation that is going on concerning you. And God says that when it's set and done, it's going to be finalized. It's going to be ruled in your favor, in your favor. So somebody is going to be selected. Somebody is going to be cho chosen. Somebody is going to be picked for that appointment, for that promotion, for that favor and open door. God is finalizing things in your favor. A battle is coming to an end in your favor. Things are being ruled in your favor. Judgment are being passed in your favor. Things are being finalized. Why? Because God says it is your week of victory. Victory. God is on your side and victory is yours. God is on your side and victory is yours. When we read this scripture, let's, test, let, let's take a testimony. A testimony of somebody who the Lord came through. It says, Greetings, Reverend K and Minister Esther. I want to take a moment to share how good God is. Since starting the 40 days fasting, I've been praying for my family, especially my mom. She has an autoimmune disease which doesn't allow her to work i insisted her i assisted her with applying for disability benefit two years ago she was denied twice and hasn't been able to get any results this morning this morning she got a call that she was approved after two years of being denied god showed up today god showed up today thank you for all you do to god alone be all the glory god showed up today somebody this is the day this is the week that god is going to give you that victory god is on your side and victory is yours we are going to pick that prayer point again but i want you us to connect it with this prophetic scripture the bible says john 16 verse 24 and that day, it says, in that day, you will no longer ask me anything. Truly, truly, I tell you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, whatever, whatever, anything that you ask, whatever, not some things, not many things, not most things, whatever, whatever, marital issue, whatever, sickness, whatever, green card, whatever, healing, whatever, passing exams, whatever, getting healed from sick disease, um, COVID cancer, whatever, getting married, whatever, getting deliverance, whatever you ask the Father in my name, I'm mean whatever situation whatever problem whatever issues whatever challenges whatever struggles or difficulties or whatever impossibilities you are facing whatever you ask the father in my name jesus in my name jesus whatever you ask the father whatever situation I, he will give it to you he will give it to you he will give you he will give it to you whatever you and i ask whatever you and i ask he will give us to us that is God, Jesus promised to his believers, to all Christians, to all those who believe his word. And verse 24, John 16, verse 24, I love it. Until now, until now, until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Until now, you have not asked. Ask and you will receive Ask and you will receive so that your joy may be complete. So that your joy may be complete. Ask. And today we are saying, Lord, you are on my side and victory is mine. This week, this month, this year, today, as I step out, God is on my side and victory is mine. As I go for the interview, God is on my side and victory is mine. As I take the exams, God is on my side and and victory is mine. When I go to work, God is on my side and victory is mine. Every problem I'm facing, God is on my side and victory is mine. Any enemy that rises up against me in judgment to do me evil, God is on my side and victory shall be mine in the name of Jesus. You are going to declare and decree and prophesy this prophetic word again into your life that I declare, I decree, I confess, I prophesy that this week, this 
this month, God is on my side and my victory, victory is mine. Just as the woman says that, and God showed up today. God will show up today in your life. God will show up in your marriage. God will show up in your finances. God will show up in your son's life and condition. God will show up in your daughter's life. God will show up in your husband's life. God will show up in your health. God will show up with your dreams and vision. God will show up when you take the exams. God will show up when you go for the exams, the interview. God will show up when you go for the court case. God will show up. Whatever situation you find yourself in, God is on your side and victory is yours. Victory is mine. God is on my side. Begin to declare that in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare and decree. I prophesy by the authority in the word of the Lord that God is on my side and victory is mine today. God is on my side and victory is mine this week. God is on my side and victory is mine this month. God is on my side and victory is mine this year. I declare it, I decree it, and I believe it in Jesus' name. Begin to pray it. God is on my side. And victory is mine in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. God is on your side. 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 Victory is yours. Rakatatata. Repa papa. Repa papa. Repa papa. Repa papa. Repa papa. Repa papa. Pray, 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 pray. Rapa scope day. God is on my side. Victory is on my side. God is on my side. Victory is mine. God is on someone's side. God is on your side. God is on side. God is on side. Victory is mine. God is on your side. We make miracle work, promise keeper, light in my darkness, my God, there's is who you are. God is on my side. God is on my side. God is on my side. Victory, victory, victory over artists. Victory over covenants. Victory over spells, over charms, over hexes, over curses. Victory over sickness and disease. Victory over my enemies. Victory over my challenges. Victory over every obstacle. I claim victory. I claim victory by the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I claim victory. God is on my side. God is on your side. You claim victory. Yes, 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 yes. We make miracle work from this light in my darkness. My God, that is who you are. That is who you are. We make miracle work from this light in my darkness. My God, that is Miracle work, promise keep light in my darkness. Oh my God, that is who you are. We make miracle work, promise keep light in my darkness. My God, that is who. Yes, 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 victory, victory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Somebody, the Lord is coming through for you right now, right now, right now. You feel sickly, you are under a great attack on your health, but I sense the healing power of the Lord Jesus Christ giving you victory over every sickness victory over every sickness somebody there's an exams coming this week i sense the power of god going with you to give you victory you are coming out with success and flying colors in the name of jesus somebody you have an interview you are going in and coming out victoriously because everything is going to be all right the the, the interview will be like you chatting with a friend it will be not stressful. Everything will go accordingly. And in the next two weeks, get yourself ready because they will call you back to start work. Speedily, speedily, speedily. I sense somebody waiting on some document that has been held up and held back for so long. This week, there's a release. There's a release. Angels are releasing that document. Whether it's a green card, citizenship, uh, visa, whatever it is, there's something, a document. A document that needs to be signed, to be given to you, to be able to do something. Somebody finally, a contract is coming through. Somebody, a property, you've been going back and forth with your credit on inability to get it. Because so many things were blocking you. There's been so much hindrances and controversies against that your your possessing that possession but god says that this week this week this week the road is cleared this week the road is cleared this week the obstacle is removed this week favor has been granted they'll release that document they'll release that property they'll release that apartment they'll release that car you are trying to buy that home whatever it is that it has been going back and forth the obstacle has been removed in the name of jesus god says he's giving you victory in the court case god says he's giving you victory with your superiors favor is being granted to you. God is on your side. Victory is on your side. God says it doesn't matter the bad dream you, ha you had. It will not manifest. It will not come to pass. For victory is yours. He has given you victory over bad dreams, victory over witchcraft, victory over spells and charms, victory over every curses that is plaguing your life today. The word of the Lord is he's on your side and victory has been given to you. The battle you've been going through from last week, it will not come back this week because he has given you victory in Jesus' name. See, I claim my victory by faith in Jesus' name. I claim my victory by faith in Jesus' name. I claim my victory in the name of Jesus by faith. This week, you shall overcome every sickness, every disease, every attack of the enemy on your life amen and amen and amen thank you jesus tomorrow we continue with the fasting um, from 6 a.m to 6 p.m 6 a.m in the morning to 6 p.m in the evening we fast we drink holy water during the fast we break at 6 p.m and we we meet um, and converge here at 11 p.m eastern time 11 p.m eastern time us 4 a.m london 5 a.m europe those of you in Australia, it's 1 p.m. Those of you in India, 10 a.m. Wherever you are, connect with us, join us, and your life will never be the same. When you join us, click like, share, subscribe to all our YouTube channels, Fresh Fire Prayer Line, which is one of the channels, Fresh Fire Prayer Line, and also K, our blessing. And also, you can find the same ones on the Facebook, Fresh Fire Prayer Line, and also K, our blessing. Subscribe them to, to them, share it, invite friends, loved ones, and continue with the fasting those of you who were able to fast today let me see you by uh, clicking yes if you were able to fast today may the lord's grace be sufficient for you and keep on granting you grace to keep on fasting uh it's not time to lazy about it's not time to turn back it's not time to give excuses and rationalize why you can't fast let's keep on pressing in so even if you couldn't fast yesterday today is another day tomorrow is another day press in join us it's never too late to keep on fasting until your break victory and miracles come through in the mighty name of jesus christ we thank god for grace we thank god for grace and the testimonies are coming through and when you receive your testimony go to our, our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com and you'll see our email link and then you can send your email and share your testimony of the wonderful things that the lord has done for you our scripture reading for tomorrow we have finished the book of proverbs so i i believe that you are walking into this year with great divine wisdom you are entering this year with great divine wisdom because you finished reading your proverbs and so the wisdom of god is yours in jesus mighty name we are entering into a new chapter we are going to learn about jesus christ his word and how to build our lives on a solid rock a solid foundation 
preparing ourselves for the soon return of Christ. So our first scripture reading starting from tomorrow is Matthew chapter 1. We are reading the book of Matthew. So everybody connect to Matthew chapter 1 in Jesus' name. Take your anointing oil and anoint yourself. And ask the Lord, Father, as I anoint myself, I pray that your presence will be with me and that you give me victory. And I want you to be very specific what victory you are believing God for. Is it victory in marriage? Is it victory in finances? Is it victory for marital restoration? Is it victory for a job? Is it victory to overcome COVID or cancer or any sickness? Is it victory to overcome every barrenness? Is it victory? Whatever victory you want, you say, Father, as I anoint myself this week, this month, this this day, grant me victory over witchcraft. Grant me victory over my enemies. Grant me victory over every addiction. Grant me victory over pornography, masturbation, every last, every sin. Grant me victory over uh, uh, unbelief, doubt. Whatever victory you are believing God for, as you anoint yourself and say, Father, as I anoint myself, give me victory. Give me victory. And if you have a son or a daughter who is struggling with anything, I want you to also anoint them and say, Father, as I anoint my son or daughter, if they are struggling uh, with anything, autism, HDHD, uh, any any sickness or this disease, Father, give them victory in the name of Jesus. And as you have anointed yourself, may the power of God give you victory as you go forth in Jesus' name and grant you your desire in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen and amen. If you have your communion, please bring it around. Bring your communion as we partake of the blood. As we partake of the blood of Jesus. I don't have mine here right now. I'm going to use it after this. If you have your blood with you. As we partake of the communion. May the precious. The Bible says. And we overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb. And the words of our testimony. By the blood. By the blood. By the blood of Jesus Christ. We declare and decree that this week. The blood of Christ gives us victory. Gives us victory over every obstacles. Gives us victory over every impediment. Every resistance. Every opposition. Any roadblocks. Any blockages. Any barricades. We claim victory by the blood over demons principalities, powers, rulers, spiritual wickedness in high places. We overcome every curses, every spells, every charm that is holding us back by the power in the blood of Jesus. We overcome our enemies and we overcome our problems and struggles and challenges by the power in the blood. Receive victory as you take the communion. May the Lord give you victory over sin, over lukewarmness, over anything that holds you back in your Christian journey. May the power in the blood grant you supernatural strength to live your life totally, completely, body, soul, spirit, to live for Jesus, to be holy, to be righteous, and move forward to fulfill his purpose for your life. In Jesus' name, as you take the communion, may the Lord make you immune to every viruses and diseases, bacteria, cancers, every nurse's sickness. May the Lord deliver you from them all and bring healing into your body. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. This is the book we are using for the fasting. There are a lot of prayers that will help you and that will help you receive blessings and breakthrough. It's called Touch Not My Anointed. God willing, we will touch some prayer points from it tomorrow. Touch Not My Anointed. Get your copy and start reading and, and praying the prayers. It will help you to know the Holy Spirit. It will help you to pray prophetic prayers into this year. It will help you to walk in power and authority so that you don't become a victim to the devil. It will help you to be able to strategically uh, release the different anointings into your life to change your life. Touch not my anointed. Go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com Get your copy today and it shall be a blessing. Any giving, any donation can be done on our website, www.freshfireprayer.com God bless you. God willing, I will see you tomorrow after the fast and I know you are coming back because God is on your side and victory has already been granted to you by faith. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Shalom. Peace be unto you.
partake of the communion. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, may the body of Christ, which was not sickly, be able to heal you from sicknesses and diseases. May you receive health in your body. Receive the power of health in your body so you can use your health to serve the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. As you partake of the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, the, the body also represents the bread, which represents the word. May God give you illumination, understanding, revelation to the word of God. Whenever you read the scriptures, whenever you read the Bible, as you partake of the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, may you begin to get understanding. May you be able to understand the word of God and be able to rightly, rightfully apply it as principles in your life and begin to walk in obedience to God's word in the name of Jesus Christ. As we partake of the blood, as we partake of the blood. So if you have the body or, or, or crackers or bread, use it as the body. We take it in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you don't have it, please, after that, get your communion and do this direction in the name of Jesus. As we partake of the blood, we've entered into a new season, a new year, a new month, a new week. May God, as we partake of the blood, the Bible says, when I see the blood, there shall be a Passover. When I see the blood, we pray that let the precious blood of Jesus Christ preserve and protect us this year. Preserve and protect us this week. Preserve our going out. Preserve our go coming in. Protect us and defend us. Shield us from all evil. Not only us, but we invoke the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Just as prostitute Rahab, when he believed in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and used the red scarlet in his house, the Bible says that because of the red scarlet, the whole household of Rahab was preserved. None of them were destroyed. So as you stand in the gap for your brothers and sisters, your mom and your dad, your sons and daughters, your grandchildren, may all your family members come under the cover of divine protection. Wherever your son may be, wherever your daughter may be, wherever your husband may be, wherever your wife may be, wherever your aunt, may all of them come under the protection of the blood. May no evil come around their dwelling place. May no the sun should not strike them by day nor the moon by nine. May then may none of your family members be victims to premature death, victims to accident, victim to cancer, victim to heart attack, victim to stroke, victim to paralysis. May no devil be able to shoot arrows into their kidney, liver, heart, and artery. May God deliver us from all sicknesses, all diseases, all spells, all charms, all hexes, all enchantment, whatever the enemy has packaged for you and your entire family because of the blood, because of the blood, because of the blood, because, of the blood. because I see, the Bible says, when I see the blood, according to Exodus chapter 40, verse 14, there shall be a Passover. When I see the blood, Exodus chapter 12, Exodus chapter 12, verse 12. When I see the blood, there shall be a Passover. May God cause a Passover. May you escape death. May you escape premature death. May you escape cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, all sort of sickness and disease. May you escape them all. May you escape any accident, incident any injury, any demonic attacks, any witchcraft attack, every assignment and agenda, every misfortune, any adversity, any calamity, any catastrophe, anything that will bring hurt, harm, and, and, and evil around you. By the, as we invoke the power in the blood, may God seal you and protect you. May the angel of the Lord shield you from harm's way. A thousand will fall on your side, ten thousand on your right. Only with your eyes will you see the reward of the wicked, but it shall not come near your dwelling place. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every lips that rise up against you in judgment, I condemn it by the power in the name of Jesus. For the Bible says we overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb. I should partake of the blood. We overcome every sickness in your life. We overcome every spirit husband. We overcome every witch. We overcome every wizard. We overcome every en enchantment, every divination, any, any hexes, any spells that is being cast against you. Whoever you are hearing the sound of my voice as you partake of the blood, whatever you have eaten in your dream, when you find yourself eating in your dreams, it means that they are depositing sicknesses into your body. Anybody who has been eating in their dream or anybody who has been violated in their dream through sex, somebody came to have sex with you. They have deposited all sorts of sicknesses, fibroid and sickness in your body. As you partake of the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, I flash out every satanic sickness, every demonic sickness, any witchcraft deposit of sickness out of your body. Let the blood of Jesus flash them out. Let the blood of Jesus flash them out. I flash out every spirit of death out of your body. I flash cancerous cells out of your body. I flash out every every diabetes, high blood pressure. I flash every attack on your kidney, on your liver, on your heart, on your arteries, on your pancreas, any internal organs that are under attack as you partake of the blood. Let the power of witchcraft, let the power of demonic spirit be nullified, be neutralized, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Receive deliverance through the blood of Jesus Christ. May anything deposited in you be nullified by the blood. Receive instant healing as you drink the blood. Receive instant deliverance.
deliverance as you drink the blood. Amen. Let the power of evil possession released into your body be nullified by the power in the name of Jesus. Let the sick be instantly healed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Let those who are weak be strengthened by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the blood be a defense and a protection of, upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I secure you in the blood. Be fortified in the blood. Be immersed and engulfed in the blood of Jesus Christ. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. I invoke the protection of Psalms 91 upon your life and your family through the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. Please take this announcement. So the fasting is from the 22nd of January all the way to 2nd of March. 40 days fasting and prayer. 40 days fasting and prayer. Today is just the first day of our 40 days fasting and prayer. Please, the fasting is from 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening. 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening. And you join us every day at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. 4 a.m. London, 5 a.m. Europe on YouTube. And be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, a quick announcement. Also, our next deliverance conference. Our next deliverance conference is taking place in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Our next deliverance conference is being held at Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So those of you in Florida, hi, we are coming to your place and I know you are excited about it. Please, um, if you're able to drive and fly to Maryland, I want you to fly and join me in Fort Lauderdale, Florida for the next deliverance conference. And some of you, as you come, it's going to be fireworks and it to be a blessing to you so please join me uh, to go to Fort Lauderdale, florida for our next deliverance conference when is it taking place it's taking place on the 29th and the 30th of march 29th and the 30th of march 2024 and so we have only about one month or two months to for the next deliverance conference 29th to 30th march in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The time is 7 p.m. 7 p.m. No registration needed. No registration is required. Just show up with your friends, family, loved ones, family members, acquaintances, co-workers. Bring them all and let them come and experience the power of God in the name of Jesus. The location is taking place in Sheraton Shoot, Sheraton Shoot, which is located at Cypress Creek. Sheraton Shoot at cypress creek and the address is 555 northwest 62nd street 555 northwest 62nd street fort Lauderdale, florida zip code is 333309 333309 the hotel if you need maybe if you are going to use the hotel or lodge in the hotel when you come in. This is the number for the hotel. It's 954-772-5400. 954-772-5400. So that's the hotel number. Those of you will be um, wanting to stay in the hotel, that's the number to call. And for any, um, I think that's basically, that's it for the conference no registration needed uh, supposing you have any questions you can call these numbers 786 395 and also 407 487 0730 these are two divine helpers you can call them for any further information but the flyer will be out very soon and um just make I'm letting you know because we don't have much time. So start preparing and come and experience the power of God to deliver and to set the captives free in the mighty name of Jesus. Also, during these 40 days, please, I want each and every one of us to help us promote and project the song, Say Thank You. We want to promote and project it for the next 40 days. Let us all listen to it daily and also share it out. So uh, go to Minister Esther uh, YouTube channel, uh, which is Minister Esther Word, Minister Esther Word, and the new song is Say Thank You. Say thank you for the next 40 days. Let us say thank you every day. Listen to it 
and also share it and help us to let the saint thank God for everything that he has done for us. And as we thank him and we bless him, he will definitely come through for us and answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. Her, webs, uh, her YouTube channel is Minister Esther Word. Minister Esther Word. If you haven't subscribed, please go in and subscribe and also listen and share the say thank you. Say thank you. So you, you type in Minister Esther L. Blessing. Say thank you and the song will show up. May God richly bless you. Tomorrow is another day. We are continuing. Tomorrow is the second day of our 40 days fasting. May God give you grace. May God give you strength. May God give you the focus and may you fast and pray. Tomorrow, when you are coming, bring your five prayer requests. Your prayer, five prayer requests. Five things you are believing and trusting God to help you fulfill in the this year. And we'll begin to submit it to God in prayer. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you all. Bye. Bye-bye. God bless you. Things. Are becoming new. Are becoming in the new. name of Jesus. In the name of this Jesus. year. This year. God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new in thing. In my prayer life. In my prayer this life. This year. This year. God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. In my Bible studies. In my Bible studies. This year. This year. God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. In my devotion. In my devotion. My commitment. My commitment to the things of God. To the things of this God. This year. This year. God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. In my health. In my health. In my decision making. In my decision making. In my choices. In my choices. In my relationship. In my relationship. God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. In my body. In my body. In my soul. In my soul. In my spirit. In my spirit. In my marriage. In my marriage. In my family. In my family. At my workplace. At my workplace. God is doing a new God thing. God is doing a new thing. With my ministry. With my ministry. With my career. With my career. With my education. With my education. God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. Concern everything. Concern everything. That concerns me. That concerns me. The Lord is perfecting. The Lord is perfecting. All that concerns me. All that Lord, do a new thing. Lord, do a new thing. And let me be planted. And let me be planted in the center. In the center of your will. Of your will for my life. For my life this year. This year. In Jesus' name, I in pray. Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Do, Amen. Something Thank you, do something new. Thank you. Do something new. Do something. Do something new in my life, life Lord. Do may God help new. us to forget. Yes. May God help us to let go. Yes. Lord and Jesus. may the Lord help us to embrace mm. the newness of his revival, yes. of his passion, yes. of our desire to want to study the word, yes. to read the word, to obey him, to spend time basking in his presence, fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit, spending quality time with the brethren, serving the Lord. God, putting a desire for you to see your family members and your relatives saved, praying for their salvation, praying that God will change them. Praying that this year, not your will, but God's will. Don't put your will first. Lord, this year, what is it you desire for me? I don't want to settle for my own resolutions, but I want you to be my resolution. I want you to be, I want you to make the choice for me. I want you to guide me. I want you to lead me. I want you to hold me by, hold my hands and lead me on. I want to be in the center of your perfect will for my life. As the Lord's prayer says, that not my will, but your will be done. May God help us. And may God do something new. May God do something new. And as I'm praying right now, I prophesy that somebody you are listening to me, you may be very sick. God is doing something new with your health issue. God is doing something new. You are going to express healing. You are going to express deliverance from this affliction of sickness and pain and going back and forth to the hospital. God is doing something new in your health and God is bringing healing and deliverance to you. Somebody, it has been a, a struggle with your marriage. It's like the devil is attacking your marriage left, right, center. God is doing something new. God is going to bring understanding. The wind of peace, the wind of peace is coming into your marriage and suddenly your husband, your spouse is changing. They will change because the spirit of the Lord is moving and doing something afresh in your marriage to bring peace, understanding, unity, harmony, and, 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 and love back into the marriage. Reconciliation. Peace is returning to that marriage Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody, God is doing a new thing. Yes, Lord, you may be in a place and you've been wanting a position for many years, mm -hmm. but it was like a block. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, a door is going to open. Amen. There will be vacancy and that position will be given to you Amen. because God is doing something Amen. new. Somebody to God may plant you to a new position, a new place of work. Be ready for the change and transition for God will pick you up from where you are right now and position you to a new place. It may 
in the beginning it seems uncomfortable but as you believe god and trust him god is going to now begin to cause you to thrive excel and you're going to make it big time in the name of jesus christ a new thing god is doing a new thing in our finances yes, last year you were financially broke mm -hmm. last year you had so much financial difficulty financial stress and strain was upon you you were back behind in debt behind in payment of many things but god is doing a new thing in your life that you will not suffer getting a job this year you will not suffer breaking through financially and being able to meet your needs and meet your your bills and and take care of your family and the things you've always desired to do but because of financial limitation and restriction and stress you've never been able to pursue that dream this year god says that he's doing a new thing in your finances and you are breaking the yoke of poverty hardship and financial difficulty in the name of jesus christ oh the affliction is gone affliction is shall never rise up the second time god is doing a new thing this year you will you will experience liberty and freedom from witchcraft oppression liberty and freedom from witchcraft harassment witchcraft and demonic attacks this year you'll be able to sleep and have good night's sleep why because the yoke of oppression is being broken because the wind of 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 liberty the wind of newness is being released god is doing a new thing in our lives receive it in the name of jesus and may god almighty begin to give you miracles testimonies signs and wonders in jesus name we thank you lord for doing something new Yes, 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 yes. You are going to pass that exams. Yes, God is going to help you to win that court case. Yes, yes, God is going to help you to get that job. Yes, 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 God is going to heal you from that sickness and diseases. Yes, yes, that door that was shut is being opened. Yes, that breakthrough is coming through for you. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is doing something new. And I may somebody expect that before the end of this week, that job opportunity, that job offer, that contract, that breakthrough, that success, victory is coming your way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus name we receive this word that God is doing something new in our lives something new something brand new something brand new <coughs> somebody God is going to help you to acquire a property you've been wanting and there's been problem with your credit and back and forth it's your, it's your year of new beginning and God is going to open the door and that you buy somebody you, you urgently need a car God will make it possible for you to get our car in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <coughs> amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. To God alone be all the glory for the great things he has done. We bless him. Tomorrow, we'll be fasting. Join us in the fast. Join the fast. From 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Also, uh, we encourage you to listen to Minister Esther song um what say thank you say thank you we, we are still in the attitude of appreciation yes. and thanking god for thank everything he has done in our lives yes. so please um subscribe to her channel minister esther word minister esther word and listen to her new um, single her new song which says thank you say thank you and join us to thank god for all that he has done for us and also, join the, proverbs. And also the book of proverbs you can type uh, minister esther and Proverbs chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, and to show up and keep up with the book of Proverbs. Our meeting for tomorrow, God willing, is um, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S., 4 a.m. London, 5 a.m. Um, for those of you in Europe. Amen. And cannot Lord, do without you. you. I cannot do without you. you. I cannot do without you. you. Oh Lord, I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. Oh Lord, do something wonderful. Do something wonderful in my life. Something wonderful in my life. Something wonderful in my life. Oh Lord, do something wonderful in my life. Something wonderful in my life. Something wonderful in my life. Oh Lord, oh good to me, as long as I have breath, 
I will praise your name. How can I say thank you? Oh, oh how thank you, Jesus. can I say thank you? You are my healer. How can I say thank you? Oh, oh, how can I say thank you? Oh, you have been so good, so good to me. As long as I live, I will worship you. You have done so much, so much for me. As long as I have breath, I will praise your name. Oh, how... When you read the word of God, it says that let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen. It is always good to give thanks to the Lord because God requires us that we give thanks. Mm. Because when the ten lepers, when Jesus healed the ten lepers, only one came back to say thank you. Mm. And then Jesus said, where are the nine? Mm. I just brought a song say, say thank you. And um, I pray that all of you will go to my youtube channel minister esther word and type in say thank you and listen to the song and to say thank you to god to praise him Amen. for all that the lord has done for us god has been good and very good to each and every one of us let's join our hands to say thank you thank you god bless you all bye bye you have not given me up i say pray to my enemies you have delivered for making it possible for us to see this new year 2024 god will surely do a new thing in your life this year this year your dreams and visions shall all become a reality by the special grace and mercies of god in jesus name join minister esther l blessing to say thank you to jesus with her new single titled say thank you you can now watch and listen to this inspirational song at minister esther word's youtube channel Please subscribe to Minister Esther Word YouTube channel to watch and listen to this anointed, inspirational song. You will surely be blessed. Wishing you a happy and a prosperous new year full of God's favor and blessings. Remain blessed.